Okay, that's not the microphone I wanted to use. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see, I was rushing to set this thing up. Uh, I've never used it before. I've had it for a while. Uh, so if the audio sounds different, that is because it is the webcams instead of my, uh, I don't know if I can get it on the camera here. But my expensive, like $150 microphone is deciding to, that it hates the camera because, I don't know. It just doesn't like it apparently so uh, if it sounds horrible tell me and I'll try to fix it but uh, because I have I didn't test that to be fair beforehand I didn't think it was gonna be an issue but I guess uh, since the webcam actually has a built-in mic uh, it interferes with my actual regular mic so uh, where's the gaming bison at I guess we can add the gaming bison where is that where is he there he is yeah, so basically, uh, I'm not sure how bad the audio is. Uh, yeah, live boom reaction. No, Eddie, I actually wanted to put like the live boom reaction thing, but I didn't have time to make it. Uh, literally, the five minute delay was just so I could add a black border <laughs> around the camp, so it wouldn't look as horrible. So you know, I t today's a good day. Uh, hopefully, when I hear, I got my my Better Call Saul shirt on. Uh, you know, I'm pretty excited. So. Uh, I'm pissed though because I don't know why it's trying to use that audio. I wonder if that's a setting I can change real fast. I know it's not exciting, but I did prepare for that. So, uh, where the heck would that even be in the settings? I should have troubleshoot this before, but uh, last night I wasn't able to get what I wanted to actually in the ultimate lock on, which is why I'm substituting with the camera because there was a. Uh, like a tornado warning, we had to like take shelter or whatever. Nothing ended up happening or whatever. I was like, that'd be hilarious if what ended up happening is there was a tornado right before the ultimate like ends, destroys all my stuff, that'd be awesome. But uh, luckily we're good stuff, so. Uh, where the heck would this setting even be? Because it has a, there's a audio output mode, but I don't even want, there's no way to turn it off. <laughs> Uh, which is upsetting for me because I don't want to use the microphone built into the camera. I wonder if I unplug the, uh, I unplug it, that will fix it, and then plug it back in. I doubt it will, because it's probably gonna be like, you want to use the audio again? I'm like, no, no, I don't. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, where's the stump smasher? You know what? I I actually don't know where that dog tag's at. I have a boomer one. I I think it's in that drawer right over there. That one, and the, I know it's kind of blurry in the background, and, but I think it's in there. I could be wrong, and I don't want to waste time like digging through that, and it just ends up it's not in there. But you know, where? Okay, because there's capture audio only. There's capture. Yeah, there's just. Yeah, let me see if that works. Did that change it? No, it doesn't look like that changed anything. Because what happens when I put the mic in? Wait, that worked? Oh, okay, I think it's actually, yeah. I don't know if you guys uh, noticed a mic change there, but, here, let me, yeah, okay. Now it should actually, this is my normal microphone. Is that better? <laughs> I assume it's better. I don't know how bad that was, but yes. The, did it sound like an Xbox 360 mic? Is that what it sounded like? Okay. Because yeah, now I have the big old expensive $150 microphone is working. So I guess when I plugged in the camera, you know, it interfered with that a little bit. So uh, yeah, we got the Better Call Saul shoot on today. Uh, oh, dude, you can gift memberships. I swear, I think I've seen that before, but I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> uh, all right, okay. So I got my my Xbox controller here. Um, it's all charged up, and I think we should be ready. I, honestly, should we even take the UI off? Uh, because I, there's literally no point. There's, there's everybody's dead. Ah, uh. <laughs> the other mic wasn't the worst, but I sounded like a war or a World War II pilot. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. It's a built-in webcam mic compared to the expensive dollar microphone. So uh, I wasn't even able to center the camera right, and it kind of upset me. So I tried to like. Because what happens is the cord, that I know you guys can't see it, but my computer's over here on the ground. And the cord isn't long enough, so it pulls like this, like off. 
guess I can actually just move this and like show you where it's at. It's down there. <laughs> so yeah, we got uh, there's uh, Yeet Yeet. But yeah, this I don't know how many times I'll do the webcam thing. But it, since I wasn't able to do what I wanted to do uh, for this finale, I think the webcam works fine. Oh yeah, I have the supercharged music going. Who doesn't love the supercharged music? All right, here, let me get my. Ah, I just flashbang myself with my phone. <laughs> I didn't know the. Apparently, I must have turned the flashlight on, and I didn't know it was on. So I just flashbang myself with it here. Let me. Uh, I always have it. Uh, have my stream going up on my phone, dude. The web camera needs to piss off. It's right now. It's like pulling itself up. All right, let's see. I gotta turn on the uh, the stream on my phone. That's how I monitor it most of the time. Uh, all right, there we go. I'll put it on the charger so it doesn't die. <laughs> okay. But yeah, no. If we uh, end up getting the ELQ and the like crypt and the boom collab, we'll have like three live reactions going at the same time. It'd be awesome. <laughs> all right, let me scoop forward because I'm gonna have to go into ultra gamer mode basically for this. Uh, I did the boss, I did the chaos boss fight and the fake crash boss fight, uh, beforehand. They honestly weren't that bad, in my opinion. Uh, let's see, where do I need to actually go? Because we're not, there's chaos, but we're obviously not fighting him first. We said we were going to do the sensei realms, uh, we might do some of them. <laughs> I don't think we need to do, I know technically we voted for all of them, but do we really want to do the life sensei realm? Do we? That's so, it's so boring. We could do like one of the cool ones, like the undead Hello, one. I, hear things from town I don't know if I want to do the fake crash one immediately because I'm <sighs> also the last Imaginite Mines one. Uh... Uh, well, we already did actually. We did tech last stream for Robo Soldier and then Robo died. So basically, uh, we need to do all the adventure packs here. I guess we could start with this one. I know it's not that exciting, but think about it like this. It's one of the easier adventure pack levels. I know we won't die on it. Uh, you know what actually I just realized that's so funny about my setup? So the webcam has a microphone, right? I have a natural microphone. This headset has a microphone. I have three microphones and it's so unnecessary. Fun fact though, th these headphones are the, still the same ones I used Riven on the uh, Skylanders. When my microphone was horrible, it was this. It was this one right here. Alright, but we'll go into Griffin Park Observatory, or whatever the heck it's called, to start with. And, uh, we'll see how that goes first. Welcome to the Rainbow you can't Rainbow watch it? You haven't played this level yet? Well, man, I respect that, but I'm gonna tell you, this level, not that exciting. It's cute! It's a cute level, it's nothing too exciting gameplay-wise. It's a solid adventure pack level. It's nice the trolls are actually back. But, you know. Yeah, it's kind of a boring one. No, you're right. But, it's not terrible. It's just kind of boring. Uh, it's been a, I haven't played this level in a while, so if I do like the where I was in the tech sensei thing, and I just like, I'm very confused on what's going on, there's a reason. Okay, I think you have to pick up the eggs. Oh wait, no, you have to bring them back. I think that's what you do in this level. But yeah, this level should be pretty easy. There's a lot of cliffs. There are more nests in the troll mountain. Oh yeah, I remember this level. You get to choose where you go like first. I thought that was kind of cool. Oh, means you'll have to make your dude, I just heard her like spaz out. An ancient one. Yeah, not. Hey, you know what? I think this level's fine. One thing I don't understand about Imaginers is why are all the levels? Uh, I I'll never understand it. All the levels have, like, unique enemies, but there's, like, none of the, like, signature Skylander enemies. There's no trolls, there's no Cyclonses, like, in the, at least the main game. Like, it's just all original enemies, which, to be fair, I, I have nothing wrong with that. But I think it's kind of weird. Honestly, we really can get rid of this UI here. I, I, I know some people might not understand that everybody's dead, but everybody is indeed dead. Well, except him, of course, but... Here, let's see where the heck I need to get rid of a bunch of X's and then just turn the UI as a whole off because everybody's dead. Well, except Magna Charge. So, uh, I, yeah, I am a little bit scared. I did the Chaos boss fight. Uh, you know when I normally say my, when I stream, right? And my brain goes to mush? Well, that is mostly for the truth. 
it, it goes to mush because I'm like multitasking, talking all the time. I'm not really that concentrated. Uh, but the Chaos Boss fight, uh, I had a harder time even when I was just doing it by myself. He got me down on my last life as as Magna Charge. But uh, on the Fake Crash, he didn't kill me once. He almost got close, but Fake Crash, he didn't ever like take any of his lives. So I. I was worried because everybody's telling me Fake Crash is the hardest. Uh, but he really didn't seem that hard to me. I'm not gonna lie, he, he really didn't seem that bad. I could be wrong. You know, maybe uh, I did play through it on normal mode to start. Um, and then when I got to the boss fight, I switched to Expert. And I'm pretty sure that works, right? Like, that doesn't have any effect on the health. Uh, but I think we should be good, honestly. Oh yeah, these guys. I kind of forgot about these guys. I'm assuming I can just throw them off a cliff. Come on, come over here. They just actually- Oh, they're like chompy equivalent enemies. Never mind, we're good. Uh, but yeah, we should be good. This level should be easy. We'll do some of the Sensei Gates. The air one's actually pretty cool too. We might do the air one. Can I pick this guy up? Oh. No, oh, I can't pick him up. That's okay though. Wait. He did barely- any we're on expert, right? Yeah, we are, okay. I guess these guys just do... ...little damage. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we just have to But yeah, no, you don't understand, last episode was the saddest I've ever been. We started with a full team of Skylanders and everybody freaking died. Uh, oh yeah, opinion on, uh, high, or bat spin, like high five, flipper. I, I've talked about those a lot on stream before. Basically, those guys are just, I think they're fine character wise, but, uh, man, their names are so boring. Which we all know why they're boring, but, which doesn't need to be discussed, it's just they are boring. Yeah, I've noticed, I take a lot of damage, because for me, the chat is over. Hang on, let's kill. I want to kill this man first. The chat is over for me in a corner, and I look over it, and it causes me to not look at what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Let's just let's throw some of these guys off. Oh, okay. Maybe I can't throw them off. Uh oh, I'm actually getting kind of beat up. So let's get around the rocks. I need to kill these guys. Or at least I'll pick one of them up so they can't do anything to me. Yeah, but we luckily, uh, we have lives with Magnet Charge, so we should be good. I, ain't gonna, I am gonna be a little bit scared on the other levels, but we should be... Should be alright. I just gotta... I just gotta watch where I'm going a little bit more. Gotta get into game mode. How did everybody die? Oh, trust me. I, uh, mostly just bosses. That's how they all died. I did not expect to go to bed, but fire spell punks are just awful, and I hate them. Every, like, part of my body, they're just horrible. All right now we got the- I swear, there's no way you can't throw these guys off the cliff. There, okay. You can, technically. Maybe you just can't do it by the fence, or maybe I was just getting in a weird area. The sheep has to eat this, I remember that. Just kind of dumb, but whatever. Ah, come on. Can I go through here now? Yes. Okay. I guess I can open this. Who's left? Nobody. It's just him. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Do we gotta return him to the nest here? Oh, we gotta find one more egg. I, was it down here, actually? Did I just not pick it up? I can't pick this one up. Okay. Maybe I gotta go down here. Uh, back here. Because okay, there's a little area down here. I don't know if this is a bonus area or not. It looks like it's a bonus area. Nice thing about Magic Church, though, is that we can grab food uh, far away. Is this the way we're supposed to go? No, it just brought me back. Did I miss one of the eggs? Because there's the egg up here, but it's not letting me pick it up. Was that the bridge in the start? Ah, oh, shh. All right, let me go back then. Can I go back? Is that a thing I can do? It doesn't really look like it is. Maybe it is? Oh, okay. I was... What is this? Wait, what? Was it was it in here? Okay, that was kind of sneaky. Whatever, I'll take it. Have I ever used the create? I mean, I have. That doesn't mean I necessarily like them, but yeah. Never heard of creation uh, crystal guy. You can make some 
Dude, if these sheep get out of the way. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna steal. No, trust me. I am not gonna be stealing any ladies. I can assure you with that. Uh, trust me. I'm a nerd. I don't go out that much. All right, let's see. Where do I need to? I need. Oh, I need to return one more of them. Yes. Which nest do I gotta return them to? Not that one. Dude, I feel like I'm having a stroke right now. This should be like the easiest part of the level. There's nest right here. Is there another nest? There's gotta be. On the right? Dude, I am. This is what I'm telling you. My brain actually. Oh, right there. No, yeah, I actually, uh, my brain turns to absolute mush when I have to look at chat over here, I have to constantly talk, and I have to multitask on the game, and my brain actually just dies. I'm not even joking you. Alright, let's just have, let's hope we just don't have another innocent, or, like, another incident act like that. I mean, why do you think Zook blew up in the, uh, the original when I walked in the minefield? My brain just... Uh, oh, dude, that's a, that is a long rail. All right, now we're back. I think you only have to fight like one of these sheep. Oh yeah, here he is. Yeah, we just lure him over here. I remember this. Come on over, buddy. Yeah, just lure him on over. Oh, come on. You wanna? You you know you wanna come across this bridge. No, no, don't hit. You gotta come across. There you go. Uh, ah! He's just too smart. Oh. There we go. <laughs> that works. Uh, all right, let's see. Yeah, we got, this level's easy. We just have two more little segments we have to save. I'm not sure, uh, how's the tree level? I know there's a boss at the end, but can he kill you? I, I'm not gonna, I, I totally forgot. Is it like in a cannon? Or do you actually have to fight that guy? I, I really did not. Also, Lost Imaginite Mines. Uh, I know there's a boss at the end of that one. I'm kind of scared because I didn't practice for that one. You do. You'll need to is some smash rare? Um, no, <laughs> it is not. Um, I remember I got like 44 of them because I told Matt to put them on sale for like 99 cents. Uh, no, he is, he's not rare. He's very, very common. Probably actually the second most common life Skylander. Maybe, uh, well, okay, hang on. I should true exit to this. I was gonna say stealth though. Out of the Spires of Venture character, he's definitely like the second most common. Maybe even, maybe even up there with stealth though. They could be like kind of tied for me, honestly. I got stuff smashed before stealth though, so. Ah, all right, we gotta, we gotta go in here and find some, oh no. I remember there's just one part of the level where you go into the dark cave. I remember that part of the level was kind of, bleh. All right, let's see. I am a little pissed I can't pick these guys up. They, these enemies feel like enemies I should be able to pick up. I picked. Oh, okay. I can pick some of them. I'll take that. It's better than nothing. No, not the chompy. <laughs> I don't need the chompy. These guys don't really do that much damage. They're just more annoying than anything. But no, these guys are pretty easy. How rare is Scarlet and Genie? Uh, not rare. Uh, I would say maybe a little uncommon. Uh, I remember seeing plenty of her back in the uh, big old Toys R Us days, you know? So, but yeah, I just realized, what, there, there's not really, oh, these thorns hurt you. Is that to block off the money? Can I just pull it? Oh, okay, it doesn't matter. He, it's not like he needs the money. Uh, all right, let's see, we gotta get a bridge. Where's the bridge at? It's all the way back here. Oh, yeah, it was. <laughs> How rare is Excited Thrillipede? Uh, not rare at all. He's dead. Oh, wow. Well, uh, let's say uncommon, like Scarlet and the Genie. Regular Thrillipede. Hang on. Regular Thrillipede. Now, that's where it's at. All right? That is where it's at. If you have regular Thrillipede, he's like worth $150. So. All right, there's an egg. Let's see. And I am not going to enjoy these little bridge puzzles or whatever. They're not hard, they're just kind of annoying. Do I have Peñata? Yeah, here. The nice thing about Imaginaries is I actually can just like click on this. And I can just show you all the ones I have. Yeah, so 
There's Banyana! I have him. Uh, actually, I mean, I could show the figure. Well, actually, no, I think he's in the basement. So, but you know what is cool that I don't think I've actually got to show off to everybody yet? Here, let me grab him. I, I know some people, like the Discord people know I have him, all right? But, he, I, this guy is my dream guy here. Let me, let me show him real fast. Uh, that's the beauty of having a webcam. I can actually show off stuff I have. I finally got the lad. Here he is. This is the this is the Boombringer Dream Skylander right here. I know it was a while ago when I got him, but like, I got him. And then, uh, of course, I got this one too. They came together. I got him. I think fifty-five dollars or something like that. Of course, they're out of box, but. I, I think my heart skipped a beat when I got that listing showed up on eBay. I went, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, interesting enough, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just do it real fast since we're not in combat. All the Giants characters, you know how they have a special tag? Well, this guy, he actually doesn't. If you put him on, no special tag. Uh, I think that's because they manufactured him earlier in the Giants life cycle, so he doesn't have a special tag. No, I'm not in play. I just got lucky on eBay. Uh, let's see. Have we gone through here? We need to get the metal bridge at. Where oh, there it is. There we go. How rare is basketball? Super rare. He's like the rare. He's one of a kind, actually. He's so rare. Alright, yeah, this should be easy. The nice thing is this level has so many cliffs. It seems like the only guys that we can't pick up are like the cannon guys, so we should be good. How about Christmas Chompy Mage? Like, do I have him? Yeah, I have him. I don't have the regular one, unfortunately, uh, but I do have the Christmas one. But yeah, uh, we got a big old cactus guy. I remember these guys in the battle arena. They just end up killing themselves because of their attack pattern, right? Honestly, he almost did it there. Where he, like, oh, oh, he didn't kill himself because the like, little crack is too big. Most of the time, these guys end up killing themselves by falling off the map. Because they just do their attacks off the cliff and they die, so. I know we're going to have to fight more of those. Oh. oh, okay, I was like, what did this even fall down for? Because I can get over, like, to this thing. And I was like, oh, it's to go up there. Alright, we need one more egg, and then we can move on. I played Starlink. No, it, it's just that's not that's like another, that's the other Toys to Life game with like little ships, right? That's what that is. Not really. Uh, I've never been interested in that, honestly. Okay, no way. I need well, that egg's already in its little nest. We need to find another one. Is it, oh, there's a cave right here. So maybe we just need to go down to that cave, and that's what we need. To do. How many levels do we- so we need to do the adventure pack levels. We're gonna do a couple of the Sensei realms. Uh, because... I'm just gonna be real. We could do all the Sensei realms, but... Not only would it be boring for me, it's gonna be boring for you guys, too. They're not that exciting. Feathers, this cave is too dark. At least for seeing. So you oh, a you're kidding me. No! Okay, there we go. Alright. Yeah, I'm not... This level does... Okay, there we go. There's the torch. I'm not hip about the whole, like, it's too dark, you need a torch. Just let me go in there blind. It's already... This didn't help at all! There's... I can't see anything! Uh... So, yeah. I wonder... It'd be cool if, like, you had a fire skyline and you could just walk in here. I don't think that's a feature, though. I could be wrong, but it'd be cool if that was a feature with a fire skyline and you just lit up the area. Oh wait, that is a feature in one of the one of the games. Is the egg gonna drop down from the floor here? I'm about to have gone past the egg, honestly. Yeah, and that's to say I remember like on the darker levels, you got Fire Skylander, it lit up the area more. So, oh man, I'm gonna have to go back. Let me guess, this is like for an Imaginite chest or something. I'm gonna like cry myself to sleep. <laughs> I don't want Imaginate pieces. 
Well, you know what the nice thing about the ultimate lock is? At least it's contributing... There's another one. At least it's contributing towards uh, me getting all the Imaginators pieces. Because I don't know how many of those I have, but I don't have all of them. Because I, I just don't want to play this game. I'm not going to scroll through them, obviously. Like, 85%. And I just don't want to play this game that much. Alright, I was told that it was back at the beginning where the, the egg was. Alright, the question is, how do I get back? Oh, wait, no, there's an egg there. I see it. But we need the bridge. Okay, hang on. You gotta, there we go. I think that's, no, I don't think that's actually the bridge we need. We needed the, uh, not the bamboo, but like the regular wood. Dude, how far do I have to go back to get this? This is annoying. There. No? Where is it? <laughs> Where's the bridge? There's no way it's all the way back here. It's back. It's all the way back here. Why? Why would they put it all the way back there? Like, when I went into the area, did it reset the bridges? That's annoying that you have to go all the way back. And you have to go... Wait, where am I even supposed to put it now? Okay, hang on. This is dumb. Okay, put it here. I'm gonna have to get the metal bridge. I love bridge puzzles. They're so much fun. Alright, I think I can just do that. We should be good. Uh, this is the uh, Griffin Park Adventure Pack. It's not particularly that, well, exciting. Never mind. I had to keep that there. Alright. We should be good now because we can walk back around with the other bridge. But, hey, at least the nice thing is all my little goofy mishaps I end up doing, at least we have a fast character so I can move around fast enough. Yeah, but uh, this level, at least it's not hard. We're not dying yet, so that's good. Well, I, I, unless we count that a thorn. <laughs> But like Storm, I'm gonna be real with you. I want to like Stormblade. I have not properly understood how to utilize her yet. I haven't given her uh, a chance. How do you guys feel about Stormblade? Because I'm not gonna lie, I feel like she just does like. You could just jump there. You could just jump there. I saw that like wood piece right there, and I thought from far away that was a bridge. Oh, why? I wasted so much time. I'm gonna be an old man by the stream this ends. Or when the stream ends. Why? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm dumb. That's okay. An embarrassment of All right, there we go. Let's hurry up. Let's complete this phase and we'll have one more phase left, which is the worst phase, I'm pretty sure, because that's when we actually have to go into the really big cave. Uh, all right, let's put these eggs back. Yeah, no, I, I think what I'm going to end up having to do uh, during the Chaos Buff fight, I'm going to have to like, disable everything. Because, right, like, you know the chat over here, you got the little face cam down there, I got the bison up there. All that I can see on my screen because I play off my OBS, which OBS is like the streaming software and stuff. Instead of like my TV, which is over there, because it's massive, and my microphone, which is there, doesn't reach over there. So, I'm going to have to go Ultra Gamer mode when we get to the boss fights, because I don't need to look down and see me over in the corner just scared and just folding. I need to be like, full gamer concentration mode. So, I'm not excited for it. Okay, they just give us a treasure chest. I guess that's kind of cool. I mean, we don't need it, but oh well. Who made the thumb? Dude, I forgot to put that in the description. You know, after the we do the stream, I need, Eddie made that one. Uh, and I forgot to, uh, cause I said, Eddie was like, you need to change it. And I was like, oh yeah, I do, I do need to change that. So I ended up changing it, uh, but I had some people over. So I forgot to put his uh, name in the description. So I, I need to credit him after I get done with this. All right. So I'm assuming that's the only one we need. Uh, do you think this is the least preferred level? I think this level is inoffensive. I don't think it's actually that bad. I think it's actually pretty decent. I'm gonna be real with you. Uh, it's all right. Find eggs. All right, there we found one egg. Oh, that 
seemed counterintuitive, me picking the egg up when we're supposed to bring it back here anyways. But, oh, oh well. The giant sponge on- Dude! I could go get him! I could get the Spongebob plush! You guys could sit here awkwardly while I run downstairs and grab the- I know where he's at. That's my child. I know where he's at. He's not really even that big, but we could have him. We could have him, like, you see, like, the corner right there? We could have him sitting there. We could go get him. Here, let's see. Where am I supposed to go? Down here? Ah, I see. Get the sponge. Yeah, you know, okay. Yeah, let's see. I mean, let's... I can literally see, Tessa. It's fine. I can't see my help because you're talking! <laughs> there we go. Let's pick that game. Oh, bugs! I did not expect them to show up. I mean, it is cave. Whatever. Dragon feathers. This cave is too it's dark. The... At least for seeing. So you want to find a torch. Yes, I found a torch. I'm not going to lie. We did not need the torch mechanic. But, Bob, we did not. We did not. But besides that, I think this level's alright. It's pretty decent. I think it is funny how they reuse the, the model for Countdown's missile, though. <laughs> for this, these guys' projectiles, and they just made them smaller. I think they did that in Superchargers, too, so I can't be mad at them. Precious Who's alive? Uh, well, you're looking at him. Uh, this guy, right here. That guy, he's, he's alive. No, nobody else is alive. Everybody else is dead. Uh, they're actually here. I don't think I can get the webcam. I have like a little cabinet right there and they're all lined up in the cabinet But I don't think I can angle it. So that's fine uh, But uh, literally the only other Skylanders I have on my desk is I have a light Well, I had a light core and then I dropped him. Dude that clamp's killing me. I didn't even see it uh, but Hang on I gotta pick up that countdown ah. Yeah, there he is I, ha I had him. That was the character on my test run that I got through the whole level with before, you know, I switched into Magnetrons for the boss fight. Do I like Star Strike? I, uh, I want to like Star Strike, but uh, no, not really. Because here's the thing about Star Strike. Actually, hang on, hang on. I, this is more important. I think it's so funny. They release for Star Strike, right? Or not Star Strike, uh, Air Strike. Too many strikes. Uh, for airstrike here, his soul gem is on this level, but they released a single pack airstrike that was Easter edition. So if you got the Easter edition uh, airstrike and then you didn't get the adventure pack, you literally would not be able to upgrade this guy. It's kind of messed up, honestly. And it's like, oh, well, that's okay. Just bring him to the next game. If you bring him to the next game, you can upgrade him there. Well, there is no next game. I think that that's just kind of messed up. Airstrike. But yeah, no star strike. Uh, I, you can uh, see in my like trap team where I was fighting ELQ, I was uh, not the most familiar with Star Strike. I know you have the, like the little reflection, but she's just. Can I not push this one? It's behind that. All right, I guess I just can't push it. Is there something behind here that I can't see? I guess so. I guess we gotta go around. Tide pool. I think tide pool's all right. Uh, Oh wait, is this where we go? Ooh. I guess this rock right here was blocking it. I don't know. I understand the puzzle, but like, why couldn't I push it that way? That was kind of dumb. I apologize for being educated. Uned Who is? He missed. He missed the uh, Mister. You missed the ELQ stream. You missed the ELQ stream. ELQ is the best Skylander gamer out there. That's that's well known. That's just a factual statement. He he did the uh, the nightmare uh, Wolfgang in one try, and I was like, like I was actually like flabbergasted, and they had to watch me like struggle the entire time. I had to do it like a couple of times. I don't remember how many times, but I had to do quite a few, and it was not fun to watch. <laughs> I remember uh, people were telling me the music was like super calm because I just had like a Skylander playlist on, right? I think it was just the Swap Force soundtrack. I don't remember what level in particular. There's so many missiles. Here, I'm going to pick one of you up so I don't have to deal with so many missiles. Alright, we're slowly getting in the groove here. Dodge some of the missiles. The armor protected in there, but uh... Oh, there's an egg. There we go. Yeah, we're doing it. 
Ah, uh, there's the troll over here. There's some eggs. Ah, uh, there's the last egg. Wait a minute. There's an above. Oh, do we get like a couple bonus eggs? I'm assuming. There we go. Yeah. All right. You know what? Let's just take this guy with us. Honestly, he's our he's our new friend. I'm not even gonna kill him. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I guess he just exploded. I don't know. Why did he die? Is it because I pushed a block and the block technically killed him? What happened? Air Skylanders are stronger here. And yeah, there's one egg place. Another one. Yeah, this should be the end of the level here. So yeah, this level was not hard. Uh, but I'm pretty sure all the other levels are going to be a little bit harder. I also don't remember the other levels as well. I remember like the idea and the concept of this one, like with the three well, different areas. Skylander, you did it. You saved the rainbow. Well, I do. And I do not remember. Uh, I should also mention that there's I do not remember the like so tree one that well. I know you have to fight the here, evil tree at the end, it. but that's kind of all I remember. I don't remember anything about it. I remember it being kind of, I don't know, mid. But oh well. Alright, yeah, this should be the end of the level. I'm done. I'm gonna get through these as fast as possible. Yeah, I did not know there was a grind rail there. Okay. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we should be able to go... What's this guy doing? Sitting by the fire. Does fire hurt me? Yes! <laughs> yes, it does! Ding! The, uh, the armor effect there. Well, it's because this is an adventure pack level. Uh, this is uh, Griffin Park Absorbatory. Alright. Surely I'm not going the wrong way. This time. Now, okay, we're here. I remember this. I think it... Here's the thing. I don't know why they were like, you know what? Let's have this little, like, blockade, right? But only the sheep can get rid of it. What? Why? It's... What? What purpose did that serve? Like, you know, I don't want to criticize my boys at Toys Bomb because I love them dearly. I do. But what, what, is, what does that do? What does that do for anybody? I don't understand. Can I grit it? Not well. <laughs> uh, not well. So you're not going to see me in here. No, I don't want to explore. Let me leave. I'm going to leave. Level complete. Oh yeah, no, this is the first time with the face cam, so if, like, the lighting or whatever is, like, you know, you're, like, they'll be getting blinded over there. That's because, uh, I set up this, like, last minute. I'm not even joking. It was, like, I, I started the stream at 12, right? Uh, or 12.15. And at 12, I was like, Where's, where is this webcam? Because I originally got it for school, uh, but I had never used it. Because, you know, like, Zoom stuff or whatever. And sometimes they require you to have a face cam. Uh, luckily they did not. So I never had to use it, so I had like unbox it and be like, you know what, we'll do this for the final ultimate life stream. Even if I lose, you know, it's a little, it's, it's experimental. Because I've been over this, I don't care about showing my face, I just don't typically do it. Like, people always, I think it's funny because I've seen a lot of people in the chat say face reveal when this has not been my face reveal. I've shown my face, I think, as early as back in Spire's Adventure in the Ultimate Lock. I showed like a picture of me. With like the stump smash like keychain or no it's not keychain what is it dog tag that's what it is uh oh wait we gotta go back over here anyway you know what no let's bring it up with the sensei realm uh but no yeah there was just i think it's funny because i don't expect everybody to know everything but i've shown here where's the spongebob picture let me pull that up real fast i might go get spongebob honestly there it is yeah i've shown that picture on stream too before uh, th I think I told the story behind this picture. It was so funny because I was evil for doing it. Uh, let's see, what what was it? Because basically we went to this like arcade, you know, where you, you get points for playing the arcade. And basically that SpongeBob plush, uh, it was like, I hit like the jackpot on one of the like, you know, gambling machines or whatever. Uh, and where am I going? I want to go to the Undead Realm. I'm telling you, I can't tell stories and do this at the same time. But basically what ended up happening is <laughs> we got enough points and some of my friends 
Uh, oh, don't tell me I have to ha actually have the sensei deal. Sensei, undead realm. Whoa. All right, hang on. Gotta get Wolfgang. Luckily, Wolfgang is the only other sensei besides Wildstorm and Robo up here, so we got lucky because all the other uh, senseis are in the basement. <laughs> uh, here, so where is he? There he is. He'll work. We'll, we'll open it up with him. But yeah, no, uh, we got enough points, we combined them, and there was two Spongebobs, like, hanging up, or whatever. Well, there was a couple of Spongebobs. There was one that had a mouth closed. Here, I'll, I'll pull the picture up while it, like, loads, because I remember the beginning of this level was, like, really boring. Uh, where the heck is... There it is. So, yeah. This Spongebob right here, there was... This was the mouth closed one, but there was one with the mouth open. So what ended up happening is... I, we thought the one with the mouse closed looked, I guess, oh slightly Flint more menacing. I know it doesn't sound stupid, it's but we thought it looked funnier. Place, so we want, we said, we want the SpongeBob and we pointed it up there and we were like, we want the one with the mouth closed. Flint's and then the employee that we tooled it to told someone else to get it. So they didn't know we wanted the mouth closed one. So they came back with the mouth open one. And so he had to listen to like three 20 year old men, basically. Or, or, yeah, three 20-year-old men look at him and say, No, I want the Spongebob plush with the mouth... <laughs> with the mouth closed. So that poor employee that where has to listen to children scream all day had to walk back. He had to walk back. And he had to grab a Spongebob plush with the mouth closed. He was, like, dragging it like... I know you can't see my hand, but, like, you know, like... He was just so sad. We were just smiling the whole time because it was just the funniest thing ever. I felt horrible, but I was. Uh, this picture here is probably uh, five, no, probably two minutes after we got it. We came out of it. I was just laughing and smiling the whole time, not because I made his day miserable, because he was just. I felt bad, and just that he was just so distraught having to go back and get another SpongeBob plush was just so funny, because he had to listen to. Three grown men tell him they want a different Spongebob plush, and it was so funny to me. Uh, I'm evil for that. I know. I know. I know I am. But it was so funny to me. But yeah, that's that's the, the origin. I think I've already told that story before, but I know how everybody has heard it. Uh, did I shave my head? No, no. It's just the headphones. Which, fun fact, I get headphone hair. Very bad headphone hair. So. Well, wait, shave my head? You mean, like, get a haircut? <laughs> Oh no, I forgot to set my Xbox notifications off. Hang on, we gotta do that real fast. And that was what, I was in a struggle uh, to get even, where's the Xbox notifications at? I always forget to, I always have to do that. There we go. I always have to do that before setting up a stream and I forgot to do it that time, but there we go. You want, dude, no, I've had actually people tell me that they're like, you should try going bald. And I'm like, no, nah, no. Well, actually, I've heard people that they, they don't like the goatee either. I'm like, well, I like it. Uh, I can grow here, here, but it's like kind of patchy. I don't really like it that much. So, but yeah. Uh, we'll just do this little undead realm or whatever. And then after that, we're gonna... Then we'll do an actual level. Because this level is kind of a nice breather. I'd say this is probably gonna be the longest... Maybe the longest ultimate lock I don't know. What's our longest stream with the ultimate? Is it like four hours? I don't know. This might be the longest one, honestly. It might be. Do I think the fire icon and trap team looks tasty? Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I I've never thought that. I'd have to. You'd have to give me a picture of the fire element in trap team. I doubt I would go. Ooh, yeah. That, that icon looks so tasty. By the way, this eye, it took me a couple of playthroughs to realize that you can kill this eye and it gives you like a buttload of cash. I'm not even joking, like it gives you a ton. Yeah, I guess we can do the enchanted, uh, the forest level. I did not know these guys spawned in here. They're like an air, uh, if anything, these guys are like air elemental enemies. Why the hell are they here? Where did he go even? Is he dead yet? He's all- okay, no. Okay. okay, there we go. Whatever. What happened? Because- Oh, whatever. 
I swear I shot the thing off the back of him, but then it was there again. Unless that was a different one. Can you finish for you think? I was never a Disney kid. I was a Nickelodeon to start kid. So, you know, that was like Jimmy Neutron, Danny Phantoms, of course, SpongeBob, of course, my favorite cartoon of all time, and just favorite show of all time. Uh, uh, you know, yeah, Jimmy Neutron, you know, Invader Zim, uh, My Life is a Teenage Room, all that stuff on Nicktoons. Uh, and then I got, I, I didn't really know that much about Cartoon Network. I, I think I definitely liked Cartoon Network a little bit better. Uh, that was more a little, my earlier life, you know, when I was younger, was Nickelodeon. And then it was Cartoon Network. And after Cartoon Network, uh, I guess it was just Cartoon Network. There was, there was no after that. Yeah, I didn't really, I, I'm not gonna, I've played this level recently. I'm not saying that they're not in here, but I kind of forgot the big bullshit guys in here. I won't lie. I do like this level though. It's just like a little battle, basically, arena. That, that's it. The level's done. That, that's since they're almost done. But I like Gravity Falls. I think I like it. I've never really watched it. I think I've seen the first episode of Gravity Falls, and then after past that, right? Uh, what? There's another level, uh, or not level? I, I saw the episode where there's like a president, and he's either like made out of butter, or is it wax? What is it? I, I don't remember. I, I saw that one a long time ago. And I think they're on a train. Uh, those are like the only two episodes I think I've seen of Gravity Falls. No wait, I've seen the episode where they're. Uh, her boyfriend's like a zombie or something like that. I think I remember seeing that one. I, I, those are the only three I can possibly remember. Favorite sensei round? I'd say this one, even though it's super short, or uh, the uh, the air one. The air one's really fun too. The other ones, I just, I don't remember them being that good. Yeah, no. Everybody tells me I should watch Gravity Falls. You know what? I will eventually, one of these days, watch Gravity Falls. Alright, one of these days. Because I know everybody's... Hey, defeat enemies. Very nice, very nice right there. 69. I might not have hit the uh, the, the dare limit, but, you know, I'm going to still take that as a dub, personally. So. Oh, wait, no, no, this, the zombie boyfriend's the first? I swear the one with the little gnome guys. I thought that was the first episode. Oh, whatever. I, I, I saw the ones with the gnomes, I saw the one with the zombies, and I saw the one with the president or whatever that's like butter or wax. I can't remember which one he is. You gonna make credits for this? Uh, I know I technically shouldn't have revealed this, but the reason I have the face cam is because I didn't have time to work on the credits. I actually wanted to have credits for this uh, as like a scuffed Skylanders thing. I mean, they'll make the credits after this, it's just not gonna be premiered at the end of this stream. Um, but the whole reason I have the face cam is, is I didn't have time to make credits. I wanted to make credits for this, and I probably still will, but I unfortunately just did not have time to do it. So, yeah. As a consequence, you, I guess we're just going to have to listen to the Imaginator's credits. And we're going to have to listen to the horrible Skylander boy or girl rap. So, hooray! I'm not excited. Dude, I, is she always, I swear, she's like, until I play this level, she's gonna tell me about it every single dang time. That's like the first thing, she like always says, hear things time to time, and I'm like, I do not care, I care less. Here's the thing, I can't sing along with it because I don't know any of the lyrics to the song. I heard it like a millisecond of it, and I went, oh. And then I immediately quit it. Like, I did not want to hear that. Alright, let's get into this level. I'm hoping this big tree boss isn't that bad, or I'm going to cry myself to sleep. How many levels up? Uh, we got to do the adventure pack levels. Which, here, we're just going to skip that. Um, so we have to do the tree level. Uh, we already did the Griffin Park one. And we got to do the Crash one, and Robos and Wild Swords level. And we should be good. After that, we got to do the Chaos fight. I'm not excited. But, you know, the gnomes and the zombies is the same episode. What do you mean they're the same Looks episode? Like here. They are? Not the good kind. Okay, well, maybe. So you that tells you how much I know about Gravity Falls, right? I don't know that much. Well, Skylar's are left. Uh, you're looking at him. Uh, Magna Shift, he's the only one left. Uh, no, uh, last episode was uh, brutal. I thought about having the UI on, but uh, it's not even a point. It just takes up space at that point because there's only one guy left so yeah you can google the lyrics 
Yeah, but I, I'm, no more excuses. Here's my excuse. I don't want to. I don't even, I don't want to hear it to begin with. Be real. I really do not. All right. Yeah, I don't remember this level at all. The, this is gonna be a snail. Ugh. The nice thing about magnet charge is at least you can pull the snail's little crystals around. Honestly, I need to put that in my little facts. I have like a folder, or not, it's, it's a thing, on, it's a notes thing on my phone, right? Uh, and it has like Skylander facts or whatever. And every time I find some little cool neat fact about Skylanders, I put it in the little notes. So if I ever do that like long uh, fact video or whatever, I can do it. So, I think I have like 70 facts or something like that right now. Honestly, I could check. I think it's like 71. I don't want to list off the facts I have, obviously, because that just... That ruins the whole point of me making a video on it, but, you know. That one not bouncing? Oh, okay, that's about to say. Oh, but you just gotta jump on it. There we go. I like Head Rush? No. I like her design, I like this her voice. Fills me with excitement. But, uh, be real. No, not that much, uh, gameplay-wise. I want to like her. She's cool, but no, I don't really, don't really care that much. Lag? Oh yeah, there is a little bit of lag. Uh, looks like it was like a just tiny bit though. We should be good. I can always check my OBS. It tells me like, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that is a little bit of lag. Uh, maybe I could wait. Oh, it looks like it's doing all right. Maybe the quality's dropped a little bit, but uh. Hopefully it will uh, it fix itself. I'm gonna be very upset if it end up it just kills itself because you know because basically I stream uh, normally 5,000 kilobytes or something like that. whatever it is I don't know whatever the OBS settings is uh, I recently changed it to 6,000 uh, but it said it was like it switched to like 2,000 to 4,000 so that's not the best I know it's a little bit of it's gonna be a little bit of laggy. But I really, I hope it will calm down there in a second, because obviously this is the final stream, and if it just lags the entire time, it'll be a little bit more so We should be good. Hopefully. I'll check on it after I kill these enemies, at least. Just throw them off the cliff and stuff. Alright, let's see. OBS. Oh, oh. So here's the thing. My OBS, right, has a bar. I think it's completely lying to me because it's going haywire. Uh, it's in the red, but it currently is going above, like, my bitrate that I normally stream at. It's at, like, 15,000. Oh. Looks like... Uh... I don't want to jinx it, but it looks like it's stabilized. Don't know how long it will stay stable, but hopefully it does. Oh, did I need to kill this guy? Before I go on the rail. I'll put out the fires. Boo! It's not exactly a fun mini game, I won't lie. Wait, is this kind of a mini game? It's like a chore, if anything. That's what it is. You guys are telling me to sing. I don't know the credits. And I. Maybe the lyrics are out there if I Google them, but I don't even know what the song's called. But I fear other trees might be. Yes. It's not Drover yet. Dude, I just put the fire out on these and I teleport it and it destroys them. What's the. What is the point of putting the fire out if you destroy them? I know you can't destroy them while they're on fire, but that's kind of dumb. That is kind of dumb. It looks like the mage from Clash of Clans, like the wizard? Is that, is that, who's the mage? Is that the wizard? The wizard guy, or the, is the mage or the wizard separate characters in Clash of Clans? A little floaty guy, yeah, that's cool. Wait a minute. Is it this, uh, I, no, I could be totally wrong with this. But I swear this blue floaty is one of the early Swamp Force guys. I could be wrong. Is, isn't that one of them? Right? Now let me move the mic over here, but. I swear, isn't that blue one an early Swap Force guy? Uh, I'm sure, I think it is. I could be wrong, but you know. If so, dude, I'm gonna have to make that another fact. 
You found the lyrics earlier. Here's the thing, it's not even gonna be funny if I sing it, it's just gonna be more likely to be cringy. Because, uh... I, I can't sing worth crap, alright? Break all the crap. Finally, something I can do. The Wizard of the Warden? Wait, are we still talking about the Clash of Clan thing? So, is the wizard the same thing as the mage? It is? Okay. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been, uh, I played Clash of Clans. I used to love Clash of Clans. Uh, I remember my name on there was, uh, Wonder Waff, or Wonder Waffle. I, I thought the Wonder Waff was called the Wonder Waffle. Uh, which, those that don't know what the Wonder Waff is, it's a gun in Black Ops Zombie that electrocutes people. And my rank was blue. So I remember I joined a clan, and, uh... I just remember somebody said, Lol, Blue Waffle. And I had to look up what Blue Waffle was after that. Or I think I got told not to look it up after that. That's like the only thing I remember from Clash of Clans at all. That's it. That's all I remember. And I was like, I don't think I played it much after that. But I did love it. It, it was fun while I did play it. But, uh... I, I did play some Boom Beach, too. Boom Beach used to be a thing. Then they, uh... I'm pretty sure they killed Boom Beach. It's funny, because I remember Boom Beach got axed, and then that one meme, uh, with, the, like, the evil doctor guy was, like, pretty big. For a little bit, at least. Oh, yeah, I guess when you push a block when you're, you have, like, an enemy, like, above your head, I guess that just instant kills him. That's kind of interesting. It's kind of a, a little cool tech. I mean, most of the time... You could just throw them off the cliff, because, you know, Skylands, Skylanders, you know, makes sense. But if there's not a cliff, you can just do that. If there's a block laying around, I guess. Still no sign of my former master, but I did find him. Well, I played BS. Oh, yeah, I guess I did right. play uh, Black Ops tricky. 3 that one time. Lots of obstacles. Uh, that was kind of. I played the last gen version, too. Like it, uh, the horrible one. Just for the lulls of it. I actually played. Uh, you know what I played yesterday? I played Victorious. Like the Nickelodeon show, I played the game. It was a Kinect game. But I don't think I've sweat it anymore, right, in my entire life than when I played that game. It was, it was a dance game, obviously. But good lord, the like little pictures that pop up, right, to like show you what you're supposed to do, did not help at all. I was just flannelling around the entire time. It was a victorious game. Yeah, no, I didn't know it existed for a while either. Saw it at Vintage Time for $5, and I went, that's so funny. Even if I never play it, I just want to say that I own the Victorious game. Oh, so, I played that. I also played Shrek Super fire? Slam for the Did first time like yesterday. It was... Yeah. I, people kind of hyped it up. I thought it was going to be really like awesome, but it was kind of just... Eh. Yeah, there's a, oh, that's right. I just have to say... They, they re the reason the, the supercharger plushes here. Yeah, the little the legendary treasures combined with the ones that are in the arcade. Why, is, why are they so, some of them are so tiny? Look at the Spitfire, he's so tiny. Shrek 2 is, I do have Shrek 2. I, I, oh my, that lady's voice is cracking so bad. Okay. Overcharged. Where's my reward? You said there was gonna be a reward. Did you give me like a piece of gold? What? What is? Oh, whatever. It, it's not important. Wait. What am I supposed to do here? So let me go. Move on. Did you play that? I would, I'd play Dead by Daylight on stream. Uh, I'd probably get totally destroyed, but it'd be hilarious. Here, is there something I'm supposed to do here? Like, is there a reason this gate? Is this gate just not open? Was I not supposed to go in here? What's, go what's, go what's going on? The, re <laughs> the reward is never having to hear her voice again. I guess, I guess that is true. Am I soft locked? Because I, I don't think there's anywhere else to go. I mean, it's not that big of a deal if we have to restart this level. Um. Oh, what about in here? Is that where I came from? Oh, no, it's one of these stupid claw machines. I didn't do it in the time limit. What, there was a time limit? I, to be fair, I skipped the dialogue. The 
vines? Oh, is there a vine? I'm stuck. I'm done. Where's the vine at? Yeah, no, I thought that. Oh, Great yeah, there is. Challenge. Yeah, I thought. Uh, I, I oh, man, I should have seen if the magnet uh, could pick these things up. No, I didn't. For some reason, I why'd they put a door there if you can't go there? That's kind of stupid. Ooh, yeah, move over there. But yeah, that's kind of dumb. Why would they do that? I think it's funny that Magna Charge here is getting close to max money. Kind of close. So. Boom, so here's the thing, okay? If we make it to the credits, maybe. Maybe I'll do it. I'll humili I will humiliate myself just for you guys. Maybe. But I'll only do it if you guys stop saying it in the chat. That's the only way I'll do it. That's your only potential way. That's the only way. I only, if I can find the lyrics, if somebody links me the lyrics, I don't know how the beat of the song goes. You know what? Fine. I'll do it. If someone links me the lyrics, all right, I will potentially try to do it. It's going to be the most embarrassing thing ever, and you're never going to want to watch my streams ever again because you're going to be like, that was the worst thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. You sent the lyrics on Discord? All right, I guess I can pull that up. Uh, I don't know the, how the beat of the song goes. I don't know how fast it is. it a rap? I would assume it's a rap because he always does raps. I hate his raps. I hate his raps. Alright, let's see. Oh. Yeah, because I think the only... Other than the boss, I think these guys are the most scary enemies in this level. These guys are stupid. <laughs> like, even stupider than me. These guys are dumb. Listen to the music video. Just some music. I mean, I don't, I don't really want to listen to anything that guy puts out. Like, I don't think they're all terrible. I remember what was the first? Was Magic? Yeah, Magic was the first one they put out, and I remember actually liking that one. And it's probably not as good as I remember it, but uh, I was probably like 12, so that's probably why. But most of the time, I'm pretty sure they're just cringy. But I mean, that's most things that you listen to as a kid, and then you listen to them again. I think the I am positively Dude, victorious. I should- I just had like a Vietnam flashback. I remember the water one, and I- I do vividly remember that one being stupid. Cause I think they say wah wah wah, do, do they- I, I think that's what the baby says, but still. I remember- I remember that. For some weird reason, I remember that. that that's a thing they do in the video, right? They say Wawa, so water, or at least the baby does. I think, right? I, I, I swear, and I, that's like the dumbest thing ever, right? Do, wait, do they just say Wawa instead of water, or is it only the baby that says Wawa? I, I know it's not the Imaginator song, but I'm just saying I remember that one, and I remember it just being that's the worst thing ever. Wawa, <laughs> that's horrible. I hate it. Only, okay, only the kid, okay. At least that's, it's not as bad. I, I can live with that. Well, I do after this lock, it was over. Well, I need to do another thing with ELQ eventually. Uh, but besides that, I need to actually, there's a meme I've had like in the works for 14, like maybe like every three weeks actually. It's only seven seconds long, but I've just been lazy. There was like one night where I got like really good progress on it, right? And then I just like never got any good progress on it again. And I need to finish that and upload it. It's not like the most riveting meme of all time. Of course, I took my time on it, but like, I need to get that done and upload it. But uh, the only thing is that meme, is, it's not like a time sensitive meme. It's just like a meme that exists. So I think that's why I didn't upload it and work on it as much because, you know, the, the thing about being making memes is if I make it too late, it falls out of like style or whatever, and nobody wants to watch it. I know like Skylander fans will typically take whatever they can get because they get nothing. <laughs> but uh, uh, this one uh, isn't really time sensitive, so I've just been working on it slowly over time. The Skylander rap tier list win. Ooh, uh, how about we put the magic one? We'll put that one top tier, and then all the other ones are just horrible. 
because that's the magic one. Uh, at least 12, the 12-year-old 12 Aiden inside of me will basically say, yeah, well, I'll allow uh, that one. But I'm not going to ever listen to it again, because if I do, it's probably the worst thing conceivable. And I, I really just don't... I'm not going to be, like, driving in the car, and I'm like, you know what time it is, babe? That's right. Skylanders, magic, rap song. We need the magic theme right now. Right now. Who? What? Yeah, that's right. The magic theme. From the Skylander boy and girl? Yeah, no. I, I would never ever want to listen to that song in my free time. That is not what I would like to be doing. Yeah, there had to be a cooler way other than just throwing buckets to get rid of these flyers. They took the lamest route possible. I love you, Toys for Bob, but... Hey, nice job. Why the hell do they spawn back after you put the fire out and then you can destroy them? I could... Whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh, no. I, I, it's, it's the M-A to the G-I-C element. Oh, boy. Grind challenge. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's ringing some bell. Not necessarily a bell I want to revisit, but yes, a bell. You know, I wonder what happens. What do you think happens to uh, Magna Charge if he dies on the grind rail? Like, does his live, like, does the coffin spawn on the rail? Like, what happens, I wonder? Yeah. I just remember this level disappointing me so much. It's just so mid. <laughs> the Griffin Park one, at least, is aesthetically looks cool, but this one is just... I don't think this one's particularly that great. Let's see what- Oh yeah, I need to get over there. Oh! Oh, hang on. Let me get the fire guy out of here. Okay. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know why I did that. I do wish this game had the lock puzzles. Uh, or not the lock puzzles. The- Oh, there we go. Now we can kill the guy. Oh, we don't even need to. Never mind. Uh, I wish this game had the, the skip the lock puzzles, like, you know, the keys you can buy. I know there's not the, even that... Oh, uh, this was for an XP orb. I don't even need an XP orb. Oh, well. Yeah, the lock puzzle game. I wish this game had one of those. Because I think... I, I just don't like the lock puzzle in this game with the stupid purple crystals. I don't... I do not care. They don't... They made, <laughs> did they make a magnet treasure? I, I feel like that sounds familiar. Uh... It seems odd that they made it specifically about Magna Charge, though. I think that was like when Swap Force was... Was it either it had just come out or it was before it came out? Right? I think that's what it was. Ugh, I do not want to listen to those raps. I'll listen to the one at the end of the game, but that's just because it's baked into the disc. That's the only reason you're getting me to listen to that one. Watch it. I'm, I'm gonna get, like, copyright struck by the Skylander boy and girl for listening to that. I don't even know if that's copywritten, but watch. It's gonna be so funny. Right, where do I go here? Oh, I gotta push these things in. It, is. it was after the game. Game. Okay, alright. Just making sure. It was one of those things I, I could not remember for the life of me. The Swap Force hype was big. Here, let's see. Where's that grind rail is? Over here? There it is. Grind challenge. Yeah, the Crash Bandicoot level, I played through it. I feel like that one actually might be kind of tough. Oh! Okay, thank you, Armor. <laughs> but other... Oh! Oh, that's so dumb. Grind challenge. I do want to know what happens when he dies on the rail. I don't want to test it right now. I just think it's so funny. Uh, this Magna Charge... Or Magna Shift, right? Has been in this swap combination for two years. Which is just crazy. Oh, oh, I can't jump over that one. That's too too tall. Okay, gotcha. Now I know. But do I guess I mean maybe we'll do more locks in the future. Uh I'm kinda locked out. Right now, at least. Who says I won't start one later with a different set of characters? I think that would make it a little more interesting for me, personally. Uh, I don't know if we do need to do another ultimate lock right now. Uh, because, heck, I don't even know if I'm going to make it through this one. The ultimate lock might still persist after this if I lose. 
So that means we go all the way back to SSA. And I don't know about you, but this lock has lasted two years long. And I don't know if I need it to be, uh... I don't know if I need the ultimate lock to last for four years. Are stronger here. Oh, we're stronger here. That's awesome. Alright. Precious metal. <sighs> Alright, let's get through this. I'll never have to play this level ever again. Well, I would say I've jinxed it. That's not it's not really about getting jinxed, it's just about how much am I gonna fail this. Boomer only lock. Dude, I remember when we had the rule in this, like, that Boomer just comes back, like, all the time. That was a dumb rule, because, like... Oh, wait, no, 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 the rule was implemented because, uh, people would only vote for Boomer when he died every single time. It ended up being, uh, Zook that kept getting revived anyways. What is the point of doing that? I guess it's to get the gold, but I'm Magna Charged, so it doesn't really affect me at all. That does 109. Okay, nice to know. I'll be a little more safer around it. Luckily, he's got two more lives after this, so we're still good. Yeah, no, Zoot keeps dying. <laughs> ah! Okay. Might lose a life here. Let's see if we can get, find some food. Alright, that just resets the... I don't care about that. Um... Ride the... Dude, we're gonna die the rail. I'm gonna not kill these guys by throwing them off in hopes that food spawns. I think food can still spawn if they get thrown off and you get it automatically. But just in case. Because we're technically not even really near death. We know we're near death, so. Do I have an emoji for Zooka's kissing club? Yeah, it's I I remember I labeled it true love. Yeah, because it was so funny. Poor Zook's been through a lot, though. Right, let's see. But yeah, am I excited to fight Goku Pants? I wouldn't say exci exactly excited. Uh, the word is... So I did a test run where I have full concentration, right? And he's... Oh, well, he got me down to my last life. Oh, okay. That guy came out of nowhere. I'm not worried about dying on this level. We still have another life after this. I'm scared that, uh, the tree? I don't remember how hard the tree boss fight is. Oh, you can. Hey, okay, sweet. You don't even, uh, need to worry about picking up the money on the grind rail if you do the magnet beforehand. That's kind of funny. Here's the thing, I can't rank all the senses because I actually technically don't own all of them. All the ones I don't own, my brother owns. And I have Mother NFC time. cards, so technically, I mean, I can, but like, I don't, I don't want to play Imaginaries more than I need to, so, yeah. Yeah, I, I still need to, here's the thing about the making it through Giants with the upgrade, unupgraded hot dog. ELQ heard about that, and he thought about making that another challenge stream where we do it at the same time. No glitches, obviously, just us playing through the game. Water Skylanders are stronger here. I'm on it. Yeah, I can. I understand that you're scared that I might do something stupid. I do a lot of stupid stuff. All the time. But you know what? I'm gonna do my best hopes and uh, my best attempts to just uh, not do anything stupid for the first time in forever. So, but uh, we should make it through this level fine. Oh, is this the end of the level where we fight the giant tree? Because I can't skip this dialogue. We won't die to the tree? I hope we don't. I don't remember how tough the tree is. Got, I've had a beard since I started this whole channel. I, mean, I remember the first picture I showed was an old picture. But no, I, I've had this goatee literally since the channel's been started. Okay, now we actually gotta fight the tree. I heard it roar. <sighs> All right, let's fight the tree. Hey, we made it. Although, what are you doing? Oh. All right. Yeah. Uh, I hope it's not a hard boss fight because I didn't train for this one. I only trained for chaos and crash. My grandmaster senses tell me you need to move to a new spot and get there. Are you finding a tree? Because it's like an evil tree. 
he's so he's like evilized or pissed. He, he, I don't know. He's can I not jump over these? Am I jumping over? You have to like really jump over them a lot earlier. It's kind of dumb. Yeah, you have to really jump over early. All right, let's kill these guys. I can throw them off the cliff, but again, I want to see if I can get the food. Throw them into each other. Though. I want these guys to give me some food. Come on. There we go. No food. All right. Uh, uh, this level has so many boring. Put the fire out mini games. I'm just saying. If, I mean, I technically did at one point, but if I went to Walmart and I got this, and I was like, "Oh man, I can't wait to play this twenty dollar, thirty dollar adventure pack that I got," and it's this, I'd be kind of disappointed. I won't lie. He's oh, he's just pissed off. Okay, that's what it is. Dude, you have to like jump so far ahead of where they're coming. Or you just get hit by them, and that's so dumb. Alright, come on. Yeah, but at least the jump is pretty big. Oh, I can't push these guys off the cliff. Gotta get around. I can't even see where they're at half the time. Try not to get hit by them. I don't want to lose my other life. Alright, there we go. We should be good. No, it's scary only because of the stupid fire that's on the, uh, the dumb rails. Because you have to jump so far ahead. It's stupid. Hey, is Golden Arcade the best way to level up your Sky... I, maybe? The best way to level up your Skylanders is just not doing it in Imaginator. <laughs> Probably Supercharges is the best way to level up. And I'd say Trap Team is the best money game. Uh, but you can also level up in Trap Team pretty well if you go to the other Chaos Doom challenges. So. I watched Meta Runner. No, I have not. Okay, I can't get on the, ra the rail there yet. The magnetic flux density is a vector field. Oh, boy. Oh, is this where I fight the tree? Oh, man, I don't know what he does. I think he gives me food. Okay, so it looks like the tree comes after us. It's kind of like the, uh... Ooh. Okay. Oh, okay. It tells me where he slammed down. Oh, no, this doesn't look like it would be that bad. Alright, we should be good. Oh! What the hell is he doing now? Does he move the tree branch around? I guess that's all he does. Uh, speed ran- Uh, I mean, technically for that one stream, we kind of, like, soft speed ran it. It was, like, not competitive or anything. Uh, I've never been, I've always been a take my, here, I'm just gonna throw these guys off so we can just get this level over with. There we go. Alright. I do not want to get hit by this tree guy. We should be good. Hopefully. See, look, the tree branch moves, but it's, I don't... Can that hurt me? Because it looks like it's not supposed to move. Oh, I can't throw these guys off. Let's just get, get rid of them fast then. One of them to give me some food. That's what I want. We're not doing too shabby right now. Uh, I am scared if we lose a life, uh, like during, before the crash boss fight, I'm gonna be, a, I, I will be a little bit scared. Oh, we can slow the tree arm down. That's kinda cool. I know you can slow chaos for like a millisecond, uh, in the boss fight, cause I actually tried it. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, Angry Mutant Tree. Yeah, it's the most creative Skylander boss of all time. Can I lure these guys off the cliff? I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here and see if they come over here. Oh, okay. I think 
Technically, I can throw other enemies off, but I don't think these guys are going to throw themselves off the cliff. But that's fine. They, they don't, they're not that hard to take down. Luckily, this boss has not been too hard. Which I, I'll, I'll take an easy boss. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mega Charge's lives. See, like, like the, ar the tree arm rotates, and I don't understand why it does that. Rah, take that bucket of water. Put all the XP that I don't need. <laughs> we did it. We did it. But no, that wasn't even that bad. That was, it. That was easy. Level complete. I'm just saying, I would not have been a happy camper if I, if I bought that for like twenty, thirty dollars. I would not. Which elemental remnant? I guess we could do air because I have wild storm up here with me. Um, yeah, I guess we can do the air. I think the air one is probably up here. That may make sense that it would be. If memberships are, uh, don't even worry about the membership stuff. Uh, I, I've tried to make them free once. Uh, basically, they, do, they just give you like little goofy emojis. That's it. Uh, also, you can clown people, and not only can you use them on the streams though, you can use them on the just any post or video I make on the channel. So, if you get a heated argument about uh, what Skylines are best, you can just uh, pop to clown them, and that basically means you win. That's the only reason, uh, I, I wonder if I can add another emoji, I haven't seen if I, I haven't checked. But yeah, I remember, I had, the lowest I could set it was 99 cents, I was kind of disappointed because I'm like, I don't, can I just not make it free? Because <laughs> I think Twitch allows you to have emojis, right? You have to, you have to pay money to use Twitch emojis? I, I honestly don't know. Uh, alright, let's see, oh, the air gate's over here. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna have to put on Wild Storm. Why are you playing the bonus levels? Because that's required, man. We gotta, we gotta beat the bonus levels too. Once we beat the bonus levels, uh, we can uh, fight chaos, and we should be good to go. Uh, <laughs> does Trap Team run like garbage on PS3? Is that my? Uh, I feel like other than the Wii, I feel like Trap Team is probably not that great on the PS3. I haven't played that much. Uh, I feel like it might be a little better on the 360. It could also be your disc. You know, it could be either one. You can get wild soon. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. For those who don't know, there's the Saul Goodman shirt. So. Alright, right, I got the lad. There he is. Uh, Alright, let's do this. This thing is funny, every time I scoot forward with my chair to like sit back down, because I have like carpet down here, so it's like I like I like fully exposed like jump scare the face camp. That's kinda funny. Sensei Air. Uh what path is better? I'm not actually here, I gotta take ownership. This is my wild storm. Um I'm not sure. Uh oh wait, I'm I haven't got that upgrade for him. Uh, I took this path first, and then when we did the like, tour log, uh, we took this path just to be a little bit safer with like ranged attacks. I like, I think I like this path better, but this one probably makes the lightning a little bit better, which it's not the greatest. It's probably his weakest move. So it depends. Uh, I like the top path more uh, from what I've played of Wildstorm, because you know he's just so cool. Uh, but. Yeah, Wildstorm lives up to the hype. Robo, eh, not so Thanks much. For meeting me here, Skylander. I realize this Was Robo fully upgraded? I think he literally you, just got fully upgraded before he died. Good. Yeah. It is about the very Robo better? I'm gonna have to 100% disagree. I think, is, I think Robo is, out of the Senseis I've played and can remember, I think Robo is my least favorite to play of the Senseis I have. Maybe Barbella is my least favorite? Just forget, or, no wait, Mr. Cat, Mr. Cat is. I, I keep forgetting he exists, because I kinda wanna forget that he exists. Uh, but, you know. Uh, Mr. Cat is definitely my least favorite, and then Robo is definitely in the top three, maybe with Barbella and stuff, because I just, I'm not gonna lie to you. I just don't think Robo's that great. 
He's not worth $300, I can tell you that much. Why do I avoid a burnout on Skylanders? I don't. Why do you think I don't upload? I haven't uploaded in a while? Because I'm not gonna lie, look, when I made that, uh, what was it? The template template video, and I was so excited to make videos. I, I was so excited, but right as I got that video done, I had to go back to college. And then by the time I got back, I didn't want to make any more videos. So, I get burned out all the time. Like, there, but I just truly love Skylanders that I will always come back to it. Um, yeah, there is no way to avoid burnout. It's just, it depends on how much you love something. Uh, I think, here's the thing, with making videos for me, getting started is the hardest part. Once I get started, and I have like a piece of the project made, I'm more entitled to finish it. Because it's like, I have the, because uh, I remember the, the template template video, it only, I, it was four to five days of me just working on it day after day. Like, it, I didn't really take breaks or do anything else other than the template video. That was just me, like, full on, only that. That was all I did. Um, and, yeah. Oh, there was Wild Storm Soldier. We don't need it, but, yeah, we're gonna spread these guys out. I like how Mega Church, he just negates, like, any challenge the game would have by just being able to throw off most of the enemies. 200 damage is crazy though. Ugh. Are you making an imaginary scene? I have so many ideas for videos. It's about executing them. It's the hardest part. Uh, with the template template one, it was so easy for me to make that video because I had a script for it, right? Uh, and when I mean script, I mean I just had... I didn't like read off a script. Uh, for that video. I just took several takes and until I, I got a take I liked. But what ended up happening uh, was for me, I just would put down, okay, we're going to talk about this topic. We're going to put, and then be like, okay, upgrades. Let's talk about his upgrades. Uh, and I just talk about specific things and have a list of like things I was going to talk about, but it wasn't like a full on script to me, like saying word for word off the script. Uh, and I technically did start on the wind-up video, or the bind-up, uh, but less people seem to be interested because I made a poll a while ago and it did not as many people want to see the bind-up video. I understand that bind-up's a little well known, but I figure that people would want to know, the people that you know, can't play as him would want to know more about him. Like, uh, everything about him, 100%. Um, but you know. I guess that's not what people want. I actually recently downloaded the Spires Adventure X Pack Alpha for the Xbox 360. I have a modded 360, right? So I can do that. From what I understand, the Alpha, I only messed around it for like 15 minutes, right? I could not find any changes from the final product other than the game crashes a lot. I mean, I can still do a video over the debug video, or like the debug menu, so. Well, if you want to get uh, NFC card for wind up or bind up, uh, just uh, gotta get some NFC cards. I suggest joining a Skylanders Discord. They can get you all set up with all the equipment you need. Uh, you just need an NFC writer, reader, uh, you know, reader, writer, the same thing, right? Uh, and some NFC cards, and then just the file, and you're good to go. It's it's it sounds hard, but it, for those that have done it. Listen, you see how stupid I am on streams, like where I'm like, where's the egg and stuff like that? Like, I don't know what to do. It's so easy, I can do it, okay? And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. So when people like buy NFC card, uh, NFC cards from people, that pisses me off because they are scamming you so hard that I can't believe it. Because it is so easy for them to make them and sell them when you could just easily Put down $40 or $50, right, for all the equipment that it's needed to make them, and you can make infinite Skylanders. You can unlock any piece of content you want in the game and never have to pay for a single Skylander if you ever wanted to. And that initial, like, $50, $40 is so worth it because it's like, there are Skylanders themselves that are worth that price. So, yeah. If you die, can we vote for Template Template? Uh, the only... Well, okay. I mean, I guess technically, uh, yeah, but if... Here's the problem, he's not usable in trap team. 
Which, I mean, I guess is probably a better thing because Template Template is completely useless and doesn't do anything. Uh, but yes, technically you could vote for him. Maybe. Uh, it'd be hilarious if I put him on the poll and we got Template Template. It'd be so funny, too, people that tune in that don't know about Template Template. They just see, oh, the, oh there's the, uh, for those that don't know, that's a reference to the Macy's Balloon... I don't remember what year it was, but they had a giant eruptor balloon, and it was, it was cute. So that's a nice little reference. I think they have a reference to that also in uh, Crash 4. I've never been a big Crash guy, so I don't, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure there is. I, no, I don't think it was 2011. I swear it was later than that. 2014? That sounds right. That sounds right. I know it wasn't the first year. I... Unless they had it several years, which they could have, but, yeah. I mean, luckily, uh, the Sensei Realms are pretty relaxing, at least. They're not hard, uh, but they're a nice, re relaxing, uh, break in between. So we don't have to deal with just constant, we're possibly gonna lose. So I say we're gonna say, we're gonna leave the Crash Bandicoot one for last. Uh, like, oh. Hey, can I pick this guy up? Yes. Okay. Flux is a you know what? I, I, I think I talked about this last time. Uh, I was really upset for that there was no, like, uh, since Imaginators reuses so much assets from super or superchargers, right? Why don't they just go full sin on, like, the little battle arena? Because that's like, the only thing I do in, uh, that's the only thing I do in Imaginators. Like, that's the... I don't want to do all the level stars most of the time. I just want to go into the little battle arena. Uh, and I don't understand why the heck in the... Like, there's only certain enemies that show up in that arena. If they're just going to reuse all the enemies, like, for example, the Vultures... I don't think the Vultures show up in the battle arena. I understand the big vulture not showing up because he'd be annoying to deal with. So is the big sheep. So why the hell can't all the enemies from superchargers, even swap force, because it's built off of swap force, and I know they're in the game files. Why can't all the swap force superchargers and imaginators enemies all combine into that little battle arena? That would add so much diversity. Half of the imaginators enemies aren't even in the arena battle. So it gets boring fast. I, I just wish there would be more, uh, yeah, like this little guy from Superchargers. He's in the game. Why, why can't he, uh, I don't know, I just wish there was more. Yeah, I know the big sheep is in the arena, but I, I'm just saying, like, why, if the big sheep are in the arena, why can't the big vultures be in the arena? Like, I know it was rushed, but they can update, they can update the game. They literally did, they added content, and I'm sure it wouldn't have been that hard for them to be like, drag and drop the preset of the already pre-existing built character that's already in the game, just in like their wave-based generator or whatever, how it works. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, and the rats, yeah, the rats are in the battle arena, and if they eat the cheese, they get big. So, I just don't understand why the, uh, how many, Technically, we're supposed to do all the Sensei Realms. I don't necessarily want to do all the Sensei Realms, so we probably won't do all of them. It's because some of the, like the life one, I'm pretty sure the light and the light uh, are both pretty boring. I played the the life one recently, and it was it was so boring. It was like the most boring thing I had ever played in my entire life. So uh, we probably won't do all of them. I'm just doing the ones that are a little more fun. This one's pretty fun, even though it's pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, same with the undead one. That one was also pretty easy. Hey, we're getting near max money, though, uh, so that's cool. Yeah, I, here's the thing. People voted that we did all the Sensei Realms, and that was before all of our characters died. Well, Scott, and I feel like most people don't want to sit through all the Sensei Realms. So, I, I mean, I feel like now the consensus is going to change now, because they're going to be like, I don't want to do the Sensei Realms if they're... Boomberger tells me they're boring. And it's true, they are pretty boring. Yeah, Dark Realm's kind of boring, Brilliant. too. It's working. All the air pollution is being blown to... Well, I, I'm not quite sure, but the point is... Yeah, I know, Evan. It's a bit odd to have a, a voice that you never have to associate with too much of a moving face and just have a moving face attached to it. Trust me, I, I remember the Vanoss when he did like his face one time. That was weird for me. It's like... 
I had never even occurred, or you, know, you don't think about it. You're like, oh yeah, everybody's got a face. That makes sense. Uh, but yeah. Uh, all right, there we go. Level done. So I think we'll do Wildstorm's level next. Uh, because that one doesn't have a boss at the end of it. Yeah. Uh, I, I am scared for at the end of the Imaginate Mines. No, I'm not doing it yet. Calm down, game. We're doing the Chaos Boss fight later. Uh, but yeah. I want to see if we can get max money with this guy before the stream ends. We have to, right? It'd be so funny. That means he would have gotten max money just from the ultimate loss, which is staying alive that long. I'm totally down with that. It'd be so funny. You look exactly how I thought you were like, well, that's a good thing, right? It's, it's good that it's not too jarring then for some people. <sighs> All right, we got to let's go do this level. I, the enemies in this level, I, I like this level. I think it's cute, but I just remember the enemies in this level just being really weird to me. I just feel like they did. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like they, I just didn't expect them. Uh, they don't look like Skylander enemies that much to me. You know, they have like a tiki mask, you know, it's like double trouble. They just, and the ones that, is this one? Yeah. This one. Curse tiki temple. <sighs> is uh, Swamp Force uh, backwards compatible with the PS5? Uh, yes. If it's the PS4 version, it is. Yeah. I do think it is weird this level has uh, Cinder in it. Also, okay, look at her eyes. So, like, you know, it's got the blue around the outside and the black in the middle. You know, like, all the iris junk and stuff like that. And I want you to look at this guy. Where's his? Why doesn't he have, like, the little the black middle thing? Did they just forget about that? Also, Cinder's in this level for about two minutes and then disappears and they don't explain where she goes. Alright. Yeah. It is cool that they have Cinder in here. I think she actually looks better than Spyro. I'm gonna be real. I think she doesn't look that bad. Yeah, I'm gonna be through and thumping Lumpa Islands, and I'm scared about doing it. Also, they're inconsistent about the talking head uh, in the subtitles. They're inconsistent at what they call him. Sometimes they call him Talking Head, sometimes they call him Bob. I will be getting NFC card for a rule. Here's the thing you better not be buying it from a seller. If you make the card yourself, that's fine. I'm fine with that. But I swear, do not buy NFC cards from sellers that are already pre-built. There's nothing more that angers Skylander fans than that. The stone masons in my village Trust me, and I, I, you know what? If you join my Discord, I will personally help you build that NFC card. It's so easy. <laughs> Wait, could this be my village? Yeah, but this level's cute. I like this one. Hey, boom, when one of my NFC cards, Skylar's dying game, uh, the game counts that all my other NFC cards are dead. Is that normal? No, typically not. You might have some weird NFC cards, my friend. Uh, because normally, you know, how the game handles Skylander deaths, health overall, uh, that's why you can put, and I think I talked about this earlier, but like, for example, this countdown, right? If I have, if I have, no, oh, there's the camera. If I have two light core countdowns, right? Um, and I put them both on, it handles their health differently. So, like, if one of them dies, the other one doesn't die. It doesn't just say, okay, Light Core Countdown is dead. It says, it looks at the chip inside of them and says, this character, unique ID, is dead. So, your NFC cards seem to have the same unique ID, which shouldn't even be possible because the Skylanders themselves have different unique IDs. If you put the same dump file on two different NFC cards, so if you have a black or blackout, right, and you have an NFC card that has the same file of the same blackout on it, when the blackout dies, the other NFC card will also be dead. And the reason for that is because uh, they have the same unique ID. Like if if I put if I take the data of this countdown, right, if I take it and I uh, put it on an NFC card. If the NFC card dies and I try to put this countdown on, this countdown will also be dead. So, it's just like, it's about, every character has a unique ID, basically, and that's what you have to, it, it works like that. So if you have duplicates of the same character, yeah, probably. 
Uh, why does Cinder have a different NPC, uh, different BA from Cinder? Well, I mean, like in the uh, as a sky, I don't know. I mean, a lot of Aspire has a different voice actor, so I don't think it's that crazy. But I think it's fine. Oh, you play. Oh, play. I feel like this guy feels weird. He he looks like. Oh, he does not look like he's supposed to be picked up. He's like he's a double trouble tiki guy, right? I feel like he just doesn't look like a Skylander in it. I don't know. These guys don't look like Skylander enemies to me either. They, I don't know. They just don't look like Skylander enemies. You know, I think this level is relatively good. I just think these guys look weird. I don't know why in this game they end up like ditching half of like the established enemies. Like there's trolls, there's cyclopses. Uh, there's a bunch of different types of enemies, and they end up ditching most of them. There was trolls in that one level, but I think that's like the only level that has trolls. So, I don't know. Yeah, they kind of look more like... I, I can't say if they look more like Crash Bandicoot enemies, because I've never played Crash Bandicoot. But they don't look like Skylander enemies to me. Only a sensei can strike the battle god. Yeah, I, I do like uh, the theory that basically... This guy is called Bob because it's all it's a metaphor for at Toys for Bob, like, you know. This is in fact my village. This whole level is supposed to be a metaphor for Toys for Bob. It's it's kinda cute. I don't know if that's true or not, but if it is, it's kinda cool. The set yeah, no, uh my setup is very scuffed. It's always been scuffed. Uh it's never been that advanced. It's cool that I can just, uh, I don't even need to work for the, the snail stuff anymore. Or I, I didn't even want to chase it, because it's dumb. But I, I'll do it if, uh, if he auto-collects everything for me. But yeah, uh, let's see. Yeah, my setup, there's like a quarter on my desk. There's a McDonald's uh, receipt. There's a tree rex um, and a box for this camera. It's not really that cool of a setup, <laughs> but that's okay. I, I, I'm never gonna be like the big streamer that has like you know in the background where it's like all black, so it's like soundproof. I'm fine with that. I can't push that guy yet. I think I need him for this. Not really crash enemies either. I'm just saying they just don't feel like Skylander enemies. Like I understand one of them has the double triple tiki head, but like other than that, it just feels weird. Extraordinary. <laughs> Alright, I'm assuming, yeah, we just gotta... I do remember playing this level quite a bit, at least. Unlike the, uh, the forest one, so at least I remember kind of how to do this one. I put my tree X on the, uh, oh yeah, the cannon path, because I don't have any close range attacks, uh, on his elbow dash path. I've always been a, uh, you know, I've always been kind of a, uh, I like the elbow drop more. I think the cannon is technically better. Uh, oh, where am I going? Oh, it's my fast stuff. But yeah, I, I've always been a uh, elbow drop because I think the elbow drop is so funny. It looks as if these beam yeah, so look, blocking our path. Take note that he, he's called Talking Head, right? Talking Head. Uh, take into account that later he'll be called Bob, and then they switch back to Ferndom as Talking Head. Is Jetvac worth it? Uh, for 99 cents? Yeah. Is he worth it because he's good? No. Jetpack's kind of booty, in my personal opinion. Oh, keeping the mob safe is exhausting. Yeah, no, Papa here's Cinder, right? Cinder's right here, and I'm pretty sure after this, we don't see her ever again in the whole level. Yeah, no, she's just gone for the whole rest of the level. my people as a monument to honor the dragons. But the evil that has animated this place... I, I, I don't know why she just disappears. I feel like... That, that makes it a little inconsistent, yes. but... Other than that, I think this level's pretty good. Air Skylanders are stronger here. Uh, uh, I... Okay, but I have to ask. For those that have played Lost and Mad Giant Minds, how tough is the boss? Like, are we dealing with a tough boss? Or is it going to be relatively easy? Yeah, I guess she went to save more Mabu, but I feel like she would show up at least later in the level. 
He's easy? Okay, good. I'm sure he's slightly harder than the tree monster, but uh, as long as it's not difficult, good. I need to move. How do I get, what is the puzzle here? Oh, that was the puzzle. Oh, what? It gave me one of these. I will look couldn't handle playing this level. You know, I am very fortunate that... I think this is a bonus area. I don't think we actually need to go in here. Yeah, yeah, this is a bonus area because you... Uh, I think you jump back here and you go up. Yep, that's what it is. Okay, hang on. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, this level... I remember it kind of gets a little bit tough towards the end, but not too tough. Good thing I don't have a no, yeah, no, no, this level does not have a boss. It, we're talking about uh, Lost Imaginite Mine. And we're talking about if that boss is hard. Because uh, we have three bosses left. Uh, we have the Lost Imaginite boss, which is like a big old robot guy. And then we have the Crash Bandicoot boss, Almost which is Fake Crash. Everybody <laughs> says that's the hardest one, or that's what they have told me. Uh, and then there's Chaos, obviously. Fake Crash, I actually took him down relatively Precious easy metals. and I did not think he was that hard he, he if he hit me he did a lot of damage and I didn't want to get caught in that but it was easy to get away from him as Magna shift now uh, chaos I actually found to be a little bit harder when I was testing it because there's just so much going on he, he spawns so many guys obviously you're supposed to mostly just go for chaos the entire time there's like one time where his minions like spawn bananas when they die. And I think it's like, I don't know if it's a, sp a specific minion that drops bananas, like the first at one, or what. Oh dude, that's funny, you can just throw, you can just fall off with them. Obviously I don't want to fall off. Oh, what is this guy? I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember this guy. This guy, you know what, I can live with this guy. This guy looks like a cool Skylanders enemy a little bit. I think he looks more. He doesn't look the most Skylandersy, but he looks more Skylandersy than the dolls, at least. I'll give him that. Yeah. I I love being able to cheese by just throwing him off the cliff. Oh, okay. Well, now we know how much damage they do. Nothing too crazy. There we go. Uh, yeah, Bind Up's profile picture is broken in this game, but that's just be well, it's also broken in Superchargers, too. Uh, it uses the Swap Force picture, but, like, it's not, like, black and white, but, like, brown or whatever. I'm not sure what it's called. It's not the correct color it's supposed to be in that game, either. It's like a compressed picture. The only game it is proper, like, like, what it's supposed to be is Swap Force. I think the Toys for Bob even said they didn't even know Bind Up was in the game. He obviously just got ported over because he was from Superchargers. Yeah, and in Superchargers it's stretched. But in uh, Imaginaries, he just uses the default Wind Up picture. So. There we go. Do I like pineapple pizza? I don't think I've ever tried pineapple pizza, but I've tried pineapples, and I don't, I'm not a big pineapple guy. I don't really like them. Yeah, yeah. One play said they were never told or something. Yeah. I, I don't think they knew. I'm sure one employee figured out that he was in there, but they could care less, honestly. The curse is sealed on the chamber door. Hey, stealth called Talking Head. But it will switch to Bob soon enough, and then it will go back to talking heads. Yep, see, see, I solved the NFC problem. I, yeah, they all had the UI, same UID. Yeah, that's the only reason uh, that they'd be dead. Is this is a bonus area. Oh no, this is a blue player bonus area. Fortunately, I can see right through this. 
Is there a twist for Bob? I, if I'm gonna say any Skylander, it's twist for Bob theme. It's gotta be trigger happy. I, I feel like that's like their mascot. Better that guild guy. I mean, just because their little intro has trigger happy, I feel like that's if anything. That's their mascot. Yeah, luckily, this level is not too bad, though. Oh, sweet, okay. Most of the time when I'm thrown off the cliff here, they, like, get slammed against the wall, but most of here they don't, which is nice. Can you stop? Can you guys stop throwing stuff at me? I'm gonna get rid of him first. He's annoying. <laughs> My least favorite Skyland game? Oh, well, you're looking at it right now. This one. It's just objectively the worst one. It's a factual statement. Alright, did I miss a guy? The one down here? Oh, back here. There he is. Alright, let's see. Oh. Oh, oh, more of them spawned. Okay. Come on, guys. Get this, uh... Honestly, I feel like... Yeah, this level's not even that long, either. This is a, a shorter level, too. Yeah, most of the time, it's just us getting sent these enemies over and over, but since we can instant defeat them, this level should be over shortly. Color, I'm not gonna have this discussion with you. I know you like super t or uh, imaginators, but I will I will remain to be the biggest imaginators hater until I die. Alright? Nobody can stop me. But it wasn't enough. I was transformed into a magical statue Can't that skip would seal the curse yeah, away for wait. all eternity. My favorite swap for this combo, uh, Rubble Rouser. Or not, help us put the he's my favorite the character, but the Rattle Rouser is my favorite speed. swap. Or actually, I think overall, Magnet Charge and Rubble Rouser are kind of like tied for me. I like them both. But, uh, Rattle Rouser is definitely my favorite combo. What jingle is this? Play? I don't know. It's some it's the supercharger soundtrack. That's what I have playing. Uh, used to think about Crash Team, bro. I genuinely could see them adding a Skylander, and I'm not even being like hopeful Skylander fan at that point. I just feel like I feel like they could do that. It's not that big of a stretch. They could add like Chop Chop, Gil Grunt, or Trigger Happy. I can see that happening. Oh, I can see it. It's like, I, I, get, I think it's almost guaranteed that Spire is already... What am I doing right here? I'm trying to put, a, put him on that pedestal. What do I need to do? Oh, it's the glowing pedestal. No, no, no. I, yeah, I can see them adding the reignited Spyro design. Yeah, that's the one they're going to add. If they're going to add anyone, it's going to be the Spyro design. Uh, like the reignited one. Absolutely. Uh, but I can totally see them add a Skylander. I'm not saying like they'll add a bunch, but I can totally see them add like one or two. There we go, pick him up. There we go. You afraid? No, yeah, I'm afraid of my own Discord server. Most of the time, it causes problems for me. Like, remember when the Discord uh, server caused the whole Reddit issue? Yeah. I mean, that was mostly. That was like a combination of both the Reddit's fault and the Discord's fault, but yeah. My Reddit is a curse to myself. <laughs> Reddit issue? I'm not talking about it now, obviously. It's long gone and we're not talking about it anymore. But it was just BS because it was stuff that wasn't true. But hey, to be fair, let's be real. The Skylanders Reddit is pretty goofy on itself. Yeah, the Skylanders Reddit is just kind of a... I mean, fun fact, uh, that's actually why my channel was started anyways, was because all the memes on the Reddit were so bad, so unbelievably bad, that I was actually genuinely angry, and I was like, fine, then I'll do it myself. So... Oh wait, I think I need to go get back in, uh, we get Bob, wherever he's hiding at. There he is. Oh yeah, uh, I actually did see like one funny meme on Sky or R slash Skylanders. I was honest, I was so proud of them. I was so proud of them. It was like one where uh, 
I'm not gonna pull it up because it's too much, take too much time. But it was like Chompy Mage. It was William Defoe as Chompy Mage looking at the sky. It was like the villains looking at the sky as I'm getting ready to sit after they defeated my 26 Skylander. Seeing me send in another one as they see portal noise in the sky. The caption was a lot better than that, but uh, it was actually like decent because they edited uh, the uh, William Defoe to have Chompy Mage's like cloak on because most of the time. Skylander memes that are on their Reddit are just like, it, like just the picture and then a caption. They don't actually put the effort in. So, yeah, no, my my villain origin story is just Sky R slash Skylanders was horrible. That's that's my that's my villain or my uh, my that's my my villain origin story. That one was clever and cute because they actually took the effort to edit that one. I like that one. But, uh, most of the time, they just, they're so low effort, which I understand. Skylanders is a kid's game, and more than likely, it's probably, you know, some, oh, you're kidding me. Yeah. But most of the time, I get it, it's probably some eight-year-old that doesn't know, doesn't have Adobe Photoshop and doesn't know how to edit, and I'm like, that's fine, I can live with that. But they're all bad. They're almost always bad. That's the only thing I don't get. I'm like, come on, guys. Oh, yeah, uh, Magna just hit max money. Yeah, baby! That's pretty cool. Skyland, whatever you do, but yeah, I, I just... The, the Reddit is so bad. I remember seeing a post last night. I don't know what even it was about. It just said Skylar's catchphrases, and it was like three Skylander catchphrases, but they were totally wrong. And I was like, where's, where's the funny? Where, where's the joke? I don't understand. Uh, people that have been on the Skylines Reddit know why is the max money. Uh, that's how it always has uh, been for the Vicarious Vision engine games. Uh, that's what the max money is for uh, Quad Force, uh, Superchargers, and Imaginators. All the max money for Spyros, Giants, and Trap Team is just sixty-five thousand. Uh, opinions on Wrecking Ball. I feel like Wrecking Ball is. He's either loved or he's hated, but I, I'm a lover of Wrecking Ball. I, I like him a lot. Oh, where'd the head go? There he is. I keep forgetting to pick him up. Why did you make the server story of Family Guy? Because it's funny. And when I get bored, I just do impulsive things. It's funny to me. My ADHD is bored and I have nothing to do. I'm like, all right, time to mess with the Boombringer Discord server. It's like my personal playground. The, the max money in uh, Spyro's Giants and Trap Team is 65,000. So just a little bit less than this. It is weird that they, in Swap Force, they changed the cap. Especially Trap Team changed it back and the Superchargers changed it back. The Imaginators kept it, uh, what Superchargers did. The floors are not up. Are you not understanding here? Oh well. All right, we gotta be getting close to the end of this level. Oh, there we are. We're getting there. Almost there. Ah, at last, my buddy. Told you I was a handsome fellow Skylander. Skylander? Yeah, we just have to reach good old Skylander. Bob there. Put him on there, and then we beat the level. Skylander, come quickly. The longer the curse is free, the stronger it gets. Imaginators are stronger. Just throw here. these guys off the cliff. Oh, that's right. I just need to throw uh, the blocks at the cables. I think that's really all there is to it. Oh, we gotta move it around. Chopping blocks could make short work of those. <laughs> That was funny. He like got thrown into the block. That was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah, but no, this we should get through this level just fine. Oh, why am I? I, I keep breaking crates because it's like instinctual for me just to uh, pick up money. But there's no reason for me to pick up money for good old uh, Yeet Yeet here. Oh, but this level's so easy. Is 
Why is Prison Break screaming at you? Uh, I don't know. Why is he screaming at you? Good question. I, I love uh, Inspire's Adventure, like the battle cries that the Skylanders have. They're just so much fun. I remember uh, little me was a little, uh, a little upset when they changed it to just regular talking. I understand why they did it, because it would be stupid to have voice actors come in and be like, alright, I need you to make just rumbled noises because the Skylander doesn't speak English or whatever. So I kind of understand why they didn't do that. Yeah, you can buy out the, uh, the shop and Supercharger just like, oh, I don't, I feel like you need more, maybe, I don't think a Max Skylander would buy out the entire shop. I mean, like, it would buy what everything is in the store currently, but it wouldn't buy every everything. Remember, uh, Prison Break was here. I don't, was he on this level, particular? I don't remember that. I just remember we had one for the Electoral Luck, yeah. But, I remember half the time his crystals didn't even work. That's what I remember. There was, like, one part, uh, in the one level where... They just didn't work on like this certain surface. It was pissing me off. I was like, so I just can't use my Mamu? Is that what you're telling me? There we go. I'm trying to push these, uh, kill these guys by pushing them. There we go. Oh, what? I'm gonna have to fight more. Right, well, yeah, let's just throw these guys off the cliff. Be done with it. Oh, can I not throw them up? Alright, let's go back here to the corner. Uh, oh yeah, you can't throw them back in. Yeah, uh, Whirlwind, uh, yeah, she was a gibberish character. I'm pretty sure. There we go. Ow. Alright. Alright, there we go. Oh! You got all three with that. All right. Over here. All right. There we go. We should be at the end of this level here. I don't think there's any more enemies, which means we're getting there. Oh, we gotta pick him up. All right. Come on! Come on! And then we're gonna have to actually fight the three levels that actually have bosses. So I'm not exactly excited for that. I'm gonna actually have to get, uh, have to worry a little bit. Oh, okay. There we go. We gotta go up there. Alright, and level complete. We did it. You have helped me remember my purpose, Skylander. So the crash level is gonna be scary because the enemies in that are actually kind of tough. To seal away this curse once and for all. Oh yeah, I remember, yeah, additional voice I think that's kind of cute that they put that there, because these were added on levels. Alright, alright. So, do we want to do another, uh, Sensei Realm? I don't know which one we do. I'd have to go get a Sensei from the basement, though. That's the thing. So, we could not waste time and we could just directly go into the next level. Because I don't know, uh... I don't know if there's any more Sensei Realms I would honestly want to do. Do the Dark One, but the Dark One's kind of booty. I don't want to do the Dark One. Isn't the Fire One you could die to, like, BS? I swear, Eddie, I'm pretty sure you can die to some BS in the Fire One. And I don't know about you, but I don't know if I want to do that one. Hello, we already did the tech one, actually. We did that one last stream. Some kind of new teleporter, and it I is so bad. Ready? It was so bad. Let's just go to the next level, honestly. Way. Yeah, it, it's so bad. You get like a, you imagine, you go there and you, I like crankcase or something, you come home. You're like, I can't wait to play the tech realm. And it's just, oh, imagine. You, you just do the, uh, end up having to play like build a toy that's so boring all right let's see so we've done those i changed the uid okay well that's good that it fixed it all 
All right, we're doing this. No, we don't need to do a poll for that. Um, yeah, let's just go into Lost Imaginite Mines. Hopefully Lost. this boss isn't too hard. And then I practiced for the crash level and uh, the chaos I final fight. I didn't do the chaos like level, so we can just skip it. But we should be good. Yeah, Brimstone and Boulders. We love to see it, honestly. Brimstone and Boulders, it's so crazy because that, that theme, it plays for so little, right? Imaginite, as you may know, is inherently magnetic. And since this you can skip. Oh, really? I can skip most of the enemies? Alright. I think Blobber's, like, there. animation where he goes. Kind of weird how he moves in this game. He does He, like, puts his hands up like this. Instead of just, like, you know, by his side. And I'm like, what's going on? But this is where the the, the awesome uh, like Giga Chad Blobbers comes in and he like slams into the robot. Who voiced Blobbers? I don't know. I mean, it's the same guy that voices him throughout the entire game. So yeah, the the Blobbers cutscenes are really funny in this one because there's like a callback. Uh, yeah, the flashback, because they flashback to, like, giants and stuff like that, and I think that's funny. No, yeah, for $300, this, uh, this level's absolute booty. <laughs> I, I still, I like... Okay, is there anything in here? No, this is just place guys stuff. I ain't doing that. Uh, the, uh, Chris Jakey Temple is at least, I think that one's a cool level. Uh, but this one, nah. Yeah, and we just have- we're fighting these, like, super basic enemies because they're from the very first level. Except that, like, you guy or whatever. I don't know what's going on with him. Like, he's got- a, I swear they don't normally have helmets on, so that must be unique to this level. Isn't this a reused Super Chargers gimmick? Yes, sir! It absolutely is. Because, like, the push and pull is a thing in one of the levels. But yeah, these- well, I mean, we are tech, so it's gonna be a little bit easier, but still. This level is so ridiculously easy, it's crazy. Do I have to put, pull him? Oh, wait, I can just bounce up. I could bounce down and get him, but that's alright. We don't really need to do that. But yeah, this, uh... It's kind of lame because you can't even push the pull of the enemies in this level. You only can do it, like, for puzzle pieces, and I think that's kind of lame. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really like that. Yeah, the, the Superchargers level was awesome. It was really good. The one in this one... I guess you could say no. I'm in charge. Just kind of mid. I mean, it's okay. I, I think... I think I like this level more than the tree level. The angry mutant tree or whatever the heck it was. Uh, but this level's fine. I, I think this one's alright. I can live with this level. It's not terrible, it's just alright. This should be the entrance to the mine. Okay, I was seeing if I could dash through him. Uh, lesson learned, do not dash through him. Oh, okay. Yeah, this guy, we'll, we'll take him down. Kind of hurt. hurt me a little bit, but man. Yeah, I just I think it's weird they kind of give Blobbers uh, a new little animation. I'm fine with it. Like I think it's cool that they even gave him one, but it does look a little bit weird. Only a sensei can strike the battle. Say, could that be the pure Imaginite? Uh, yeah, uh, Magna Magna Ship still has lives. So it's, yeah, it's the bottom half. Um, it's these. Yeah, Batty Coach can be used twice. The UI doesn't reflect it because uh, they broke it in Imaginators, but he does have extra lives. Oh, so, yeah. Dude, we can get a treasure chest? Oh, we don't have the, the little magnet. I was gonna say, we can get a treasure chest even though we have max money? Oh, yeah. That's what I want. Why does Blobber sound like it? Well, he always sounds like he has a stuff nose. That's just like part of his character. Oh, there's the magnet. I'm not going back up there to get that treasure chest though, because we literally cannot even carry it if we wanted to. Skylanders are stronger here. I think it's weird that 
red is the push. You would think that red would be like the push away, but blue is the push away. I feel like that's reverse. It should be the other way around. Was aerial attack playing? Uh, yeah, it was reused in uh, superchargers. Uh, for uh, I think it's just battle brawl music, honestly. Alright. Where, where's the bomb? There it is. There we go. We can dash out of the way so we won't get hit by the bomb. Which is nice. The magnetic force density is a vector field. Yeah, why do they use these enemies but they don't buff them up or change them? It's just like the first level enemies. And they're so weak. Alright, there we go. Whoa. I feel like I should be uh, not playing it so unsafe by dashing out of the way at the last second, but I can care less, honestly. It will be fine. Can I pick these guys up? Oh, I didn't know you could. Okay. Roll the mines into these mine shaped holes. It's like they were made for each other. I almost like they were made for each other. That's so true. Well, yeah, I think this is the spell slams are thing that's playing now. What level is this? Uh, this is Lost Magi Mines. Great work, Skylander. Come here. Yeah, let's just take him with it. Oh, he actually like balls up. That's kind of funny. Most of the time they just like glitch out. Just realize, uh, so what does that mean? They made this animation. Is that when he like gets stunned and thrown back? Cause there's no way they made animation specifically for characters getting carried by magnet charge in this game. Yeah, but it's good that magnet charge basically cannot be nerfed. Uh, yeah, the the lives. Uh, if I end up dying in a level, we don't have to worry because the lives will come back to us at the end if we beat the level. Let's see. Oh, look at that guy. Okay, he's coming down. Can we slow him down? It does not look like we can. Nah, this guy's pretty easy to defeat. You can just kind of stand in front of him. He won't do jack squat. Uh, how bad is this chaos boss fight? Um, it's gonna be kind of tough. It's not the. It's not like trap team level or anything. It's decently easy. Uh, but with one character, it can be a little bit hard, especially if it's not a newer character. Now, Magnus Charge, at least, has got lives, got good range, um, he's pretty good. It's, yeah, it's fairly easy. I did do a test run where I just used him for the stream, uh, like, two days ago to see how well he would stack up, and... I was able to beat it first try, but he did get me down to where, like, I had no extra lives remaining. So that scared me a little. The crash one, the fake crash boss fight did not take one life off of me, though. I'm assuming I'm going to have to take this down. Ah. Oh, I didn't need to do that much. There. Oh, no. Oh, that one goes up slower. Got it. Ah! I feel like that's definitely not how you're supposed to do it. That's kind of how I want to try and do it. No, we are not doing a nightmare lock here. There's got to be. I'm doing this wrong. Yeah, because it seems like that one moves up slower. There we go. We got it. There we go. Uh, this is Lost Imaginite Mine. This is the one that comes with Robo. No Nightmare Lock. Dude, I, we know I would lose that. I'm terrible. My multitasking skills are not that great, so there's no way I could do a Nightmare Lock. There's just not. Yeah, it would not happen. Oh, cute cutscene. Alright. 
This is where uh gives us little flashbacks or whatever. We can't have the imaginite bringing just anyone's dreams to life, Skylander. At least uh Nightmare Lock and Oh yeah, I feel like that would be manageable at least. Don't you see? I can make a difference. Uh the piss pup stream will be coming eventually. Underappreciated. And even now, I, I always thought this was kind of funny that they just flat out show the old man. It's so crazy to see the contrast of like the old Wii graphics to like this cutscene. We stand on the verge of a new age of Skylands. It's kind of funny. I blobbers give you Skylands 2.0. Defensive systems activated. Oh, that's. This is uh, the first time that they ever shown footage of the old games in a new game. Yeah, and it's literally the last level they ever made. <laughs> the first time they ever did it, and it's the only time they ever did it. Well, actually, uh, if we count in superchargers, the intro cutscene shows uh, one of the Spire's adventure like trailers in the beginning of it. If we count that, it's technically not in the game though. Oh, you have to kill the little, little cleaning robots? That's kind of weird. Yeah, the supercharger intro technically has it, but it's not from one of the games. Keep throwing these guys off. This level is pretty easy. I, As long as I don't kill myself with the bomb and the boss fight, we should be good. Here's the thing about the, D the Skylanders DS games. I really have thought about... Uh, I don't know how expensive a 3DS capture card is. If they're, like, super expensive, I don't know how I feel about getting one. If they're not that expensive, because I would only play Skylander games on them, obviously. I could try emulate him, but I'm not how sure how emulating would work. Um, because I don't know how does the portal work with if you try to emulate Skyland on uh, 3DS. I know how it works on like a Dolphin. I, I know how to do that, but I don't know how it would do it with 3DS. You cannot emulate Spires when okay, Jax, okay. It doesn't work. Okay, well then, yeah, then well, that's kind of defeats the purpose. Then I'll just get actual hardware. How do you get the games on Dolphin? You just download them. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Well, I mean, I don't really need to emulate the 3DS game. Uh, because I have all of them. I own them. I just haven't played them. I played Giants, and that was the only one I ever played. I played a little bit of each. I probably played the first level of each of them. But I never beat any of them. Where do you download? You just gotta look up. Like, you literally just look up, like, Skylanders, Giants, Wii Download. That, that's literally all you have to do. It's pretty easy. I'm sure my Discord server can help you out if you ended up really needing help, but it, it's pretty easy. Unless you have a... No, I don't have the new 3DS. I have, like, the 3DS... Uh, I have a blue one. It's like the, the XL one or whatever. That's the one I have. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda... I don't like playing the 3DS games because I have to like lean over and look at them. It hurts my neck. That's why I get tired of the 3DS. My scoliosis is not a big fan of the 3DS. It hurts. <laughs> it does not like it. Yeah, I think it's weird they're still throwing at these enemies when they didn't even scale them up. Like these are beginning, beginning enemies. It's like no sheep, no rats. Just, okay, well, there's these little cannons. I don't know how you're supposed to get rid of those cannons. No, he's not on his final life. It just doesn't show it. We're, we're still we're rolling, rolling. Oh, wait. Do I have to have the magnet, maybe? Or I need to move the pad up. That's what it is. Yeah, I have scoliosis. It's not like extreme scoliosis or anything, but I got it. Uh, where the heck is it? Maybe I just forgot about it all the way back here. There we go. Now we got it. So, I'm just... Oh, there's a pretzel down there, too. Yeah, I want that pretzel. Bouncy. There we go. Going up. Yeah, it's just, there's just this payload, and we just have to sit on it. Riveting gameplay. I know, I know. 
Oh, all right. So much fun. I feel like I was probably supposed to sit on it and go. Oh, what the heck? Hey, don't shoot me, man. That's rude. I didn't even know there were turrets all the way back there. I only saw the ones uh, up here. So. Dude, the turrets are actually killing me. Just because they're so annoying. <laughs> oh, okay. I have to push this block. Gotcha. Oh, now this is like a friendly turret to us. That's what I, I do remember this. Critical. Door 2 breached. Threat level, Oh, okay, there we go again. Oh, wait, dude, he's trying to shoot the, the guy I have held. That's kind of funny. <laughs> I was like, did the turret turn on me? Because it started shooting at me. Let's throw that guy off. Grab this pretzel down here. These guys jump down here, I wonder. Oh my gosh, they do. Does that mean they can jump all the way up? What does that mean? Or are they just stuck down there when they get down there? It's kind of a strat, honestly. You can separate them. Wait, dude, that guy's on top of that other dude. Look at that. Oh! Okay. I can just jump over that guy. There we go. He still, he still has max lives. No worries, no worries. He's doing good. It sucks that they broke the UI for this game. So yeah, he's got his, he's got max. He's all good. But, yeah, this level is kind of eh. I think the beginning part of the level is a little bit better. And after the uh, the Blobber's, like, cutscene plays or whatever, where he, like, touches it, I think that's when uh, this level gets worse. I think before that, it's pretty good, and then after that, kind of goes Imagine I extract your proximity to exit, reaching dangerous... Do the lives show in Supercharged? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. I think that's just they broke it in this game. Patience depleted. All right, now we gotta fight the big robot. Initializing the rebel maker. Smashing routine engaged. It would not be a Skylander jumping. Oh, did I hit him then? No, I think he like shuts down here. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, luckily we got full lives, so we should be good. It would not be a, a Skylar's game unless it had stupid rings you're supposed to jump over. I think I could actually, I don't even need to uh, dodge them. Or I mean not like dodge dodge them, but I don't have to jump over, I can just avoid them. Man, I can just throw these guys off. See ya. So far, it's pretty easy. I do remember the uh, the bombs come in eventually. This could be the end. No, this is not the end. This is easy. So easy to dodge it too. You just have to like stand in the corner and it can't even reach it. Yeah, this is easy. <laughs> this is not the end. Right now, I like it's got the, like the casual superchargers music kind of going on in the background. That's the boss? I can't remember. I just remember this boss is really not that bad. No, you cannot hit the arms. I tried. Okay, I'll try again. Yeah, no, you can't hit the arms. Uh, when did you... So here's the thing. This ultimate lock stream is actually... I planned it on this day to end. Oh, no. This is where I have to... I push the bomb into him? I know that's what I'm supposed to do. There we go. 
Uh, this is the sec- This stream, right now, is being streamed on the second anniversary. Right now. Ooh. Okay, that was a little bit close. Yeah, so the ultimate log is, uh... Actually been going on for two years. Oh, he hit me! I got armor, though. Yeah, I'm trying to push the uh, the ball into him here, but what end up happening is uh, oh, there's no more. Okay. I do remember this this boss fight kind of has some BS though, because the orb can fall on top of you, and that's kind of dumb. I mean, I, I've seen where they spawn those, so we should be good, but it is kind of dumb that they can basically just fall on you. Oh, I just shielded something. There we go. I guess just don't have the uh, the other magnet on. We should be good. What are the rules of Ultima? Uh, they're in the description. Yeah, I made sure to always put them in the description just so they're a little bit easier to everybody to read. Now, so far, this boss, you know, yeah, we're on 41 health, but we have extra lives. So far, we've armor tanked everything. And this has, yeah, okay, there you go. The bomb flew into it. This has not been hard. Let's see, can I push this into him? Come on. Waiting for it. Okay, so far this has been really easy. <laughs> Drillix. I feel like Drillix wouldn't really make sense for this level though. Like, we like Drillex, but it doesn't really make any sense for Drillex to just randomly show up in this, like, the lost Imaginite Mines. That wouldn't really make sense for him to show up. This is like an ancient robot. No, yeah, this- I feel like this boss is going on for way longer than it needs to. It doesn't need to go on this long. Yeah, it's a mine he drills, I guess, but why it, I, like, I, I don't know, it doesn't really, uh, I can see, like, if it was a different drill X, like a, a different one, yeah, I'm alright with that, but it wouldn't make sense for it to be the same one. So I feel like drill X is probably not a unique drill, I feel like there's probably more of him. Maybe he's the only one that sings, but, okay, hang on, next phase, what are we doing now? Alright, dodge crystals that are coming out of the sky, got it. Pretty easy when you can just run really fast. Stand still for total and complete termination. Well, I don't want to stand still for total complete termination. I don't want to do that. No, it's like, you know, I would love to have good old drill X back, but I don't, I don't think he's necessarily needed here. Oh, what? That orb fell on the robot. I want it to fall- or on the, uh, the small one. I want it to fall on the big one! Not the small one. He almost died. Yeah, he's, he's getting there. Slowly but surely. This boss fight is pretty... It's slow, and it lasts way too long. Luckily, we have great mobility, so it's not really... It's not hard or anything. It's like, yeah. Alright, come on. Oh, we got food from one of those guys. Ooh, okay, he's throwing orbs at me while he's hurt. That's kind of not cool, though, but alright. We're doing good, though. I feel like uh, this should be over soon enough. It lasts way too long. Nope, yep, yep, it does. Well, I feel like it wouldn't last as long if we could hit him more. But we don't, like, get a lot of time to hit him. Also, the orb keeps falling on, like, the little mini guy. That's kind of lame. Yeah, but we just don't get a lot of time to attack him. That's the only problem. Oh yeah, this is where Blobbers comes in. 
pretty sure at least. Yeah. Blobbers comes in and he saves the day. What a giga chat. Honestly. He did it. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> that was easy. But yeah, uh, that's that level down. We Two more levels to go. Skylander. Let's get the Imaginite back to the Academy. Oh, but yeah, I am a little scared for the crash level, a little bit scared for the chaos level, but you know. Level complete. A big thanks to Blobbers, though. That level was pretty easy, though. I was working on some kind of newfangled teleporter, and I might have. All right, I think for the Crash Bandicoot level, I'm gonna turn music on. I don't know if the music's copyrighted or not, uh, but it would be weird to have a musical themed level without the music that's accompanying it. There, let me disable the supercharger's music. Alright. There we go. It, it would be weird to have the, uh, you know, the whole level's about music, so it'd be weird to not have it. Alright, we can just go on and skip this. But basically, we just need to get to the end of the level. The level's actually kind of decently long, I won't lie. bad vibes will shake the whole of the island apart if you don't set them right. Is the music on? I don't hear no music. Oh, I must have not saved changes, that's what it was. Alright. There we go. Boy, howdy, I'll say. Nice Skylanders are stronger here. Yeah, this level's pretty good. You know what? I I did say last stream it wasn't. It was kind of all right, but not. But it is a, it is a lot better than I remember. I played through it. I think it definitely. If you're a Crash Bandicoot fan, you'll probably appreciate this level. For me, it was like you know. If I get copyright, that's fine. All the other Imagineers seem to get copyright now, so. are stronger here. Oh, okay, yeah. I did play through this level, so I know the puzzles. Uh, and I- you don't have to watch me struggle. I guess you could say I'm in charge. Which is good, because I- I'm sure every- as much as everybody loves watching me struggle on puzzles, uh, we don't need to do that. Yeah, the trophies in this level are vicious, though. Luckily, yep, okay. We can still throw uh, most of the guys off the cliff. I think we can just run past these guys. Somebody said we could just run past most of the enemies in this level. But we should be good. I still think it's so funny that we got max money for Magnus Rush. Do I like the Crash games? I don't dislike them, I've just never played them. It's just never been, like, anything that I've been interested in trying. I mean, maybe one of these days. Uh, if they come to, like, Game Pass or something, I'd, I'd give them a go, maybe. Or if I, I... They do go on sale every once in a while. And, uh... I know that they were handled by Vicarious Visions and Toys for Bob. Like, you know, the new stuff you can buy. And I do like me some Toys for Bob and Vicarious Visions. Well, play Crash 4. Hey man, that one's handled by Toys for Bob, so I'm I'm biased and I would totally love to play it, but I don't, I'm sure I could get it somewhere cheap. It's a little bit older now. Still need to beat the uh, the Spyro Reignited trilogy though. I, I always say I like the first one, but I didn't really like the second one and I fell out of it. Yeah, first one was good though. I like the first one. Can I skip these guys? Can I just walk up fast? No, I can't. Alright. Sheesh. That was a close one. 
Hey, come on up here. I haven't tried Spyro 3. I don't I don't know if it's particularly that good or not. But I thought uh, I thought the the Spyro consensus was the second one was the best. But I I didn't care for it. I never I haven't beaten it to be fair, but I have not uh I just didn't like it. I don't know. I didn't like like the new collectibles or whatever. I like I just didn't think it was that crazy. Oh, that's right. I remember the boom. Uh, the mixtape is down here. I think. There it is. Yeah, no, I did not like the orbs. That's what it was. I was forgetting what they were called, but Inspire Two, the orbs. I did not like those. What's the best Imaginators level? Well, most people will argue this is the best Imaginators level. Which is ironic because I'm pretty sure this one was made actually made by Vicarious Visions <laughs> instead of Toys for Bob. I know there's like these big dudes with uh, mallets. I wonder. I, I hope I can throw these uh, little time dudes off. Ooh, okay. Didn't pick up the right guy. I'll just walk past. Here, hang on though. I want to see if I can pick up uh, this dude. No, okay. It looks like you can't pick up this dude. But yeah, I'll just walk past him. Here, Skylander. Here's the thing, I don't think uh I care's vision only had to make this level, alright? So it's probably better because they didn't have to deal with the whole game on their hands. Because I don't doubt Toys for Bob, they've made great games in the past. It's just probably they uh didn't come up with the gimmick as fast as they should have, and probably that just led to development time being really short. Like they just didn't have a lot of time to work with. And I'm that's what I'm guessing was the problem with this game. It's just they didn't have a lot of time once they figured out what they wanted to do. Hey, Skyland, I mean, yeah, they were also working on the Insane the Trilogy, but they probably had a separate, Bandicoot, like, division so of Vicarious Vision do this one. So do this level. Because, you know, they, they probably broke it up a little bit. Yeah, here's the big dudes. Kind of scared of them, but, uh, I don't know. Having a ranged attack, I think we should be good. Yeah, these guys aren't going to be that bad. Yeah, Vicarious Divisions doesn't exist anymore now. Did it, well, I think, didn't they rename it to something? Or did they just dissolve into Blizzard? Is that what happened? I can't even remember. Activate the dance bot. I have no idea what the dance bot is. I'm not going to lie. I've only played this level like four times. <laughs> yeah, they merged. Okay, that's what it was. Uh, should they add Thug Shaker if they remake SSA? Well, of course they should. Even though I know I was supposed to go down there and kill that guy to like slow things down, I still think I can get past without having to do that. Okay, that guy doesn't actually even attack. All right. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can just you can actually totally get past that without having to do that. What's the most underrated game? Uh, my like most underrated game that I usually say is Soma. Uh, it's just a really oh wait I can walk past these guys can I? Uh, Soma is a, like a horror game and it's made by the same people that make Amnesia or whatever. I've never played Amnesia, but Soma I played it and it was so good. It, there's not a lot of games that have me like questioning like ethical questions once I beat it uh, But it was it was really good and it was one of those games So I, I think it goes on sale every once in a while it's been a while but uh, Soma if you have not played it is an absolute blast Do I use Imaginators not usually I Just don't I think they look stupid but I just almost never use him. Where was the, uh, can I talk to him? Alright, it showed me, like, at the beginning what, like, the loadout was, but I didn't see, like, the last one. Or just jump on their tops. Alright. Okay, I don't, we don't even have to fight. I think we fight, like, four or five of these guys. 
I think these are the last ones. Oh, wait, we gotta kill this guy. He's gonna make this one. Oh, wait. Nope, you're right. We can totally run past this. Yeah, I didn't even realize that most of these guys you can just run past. Oh, there we go. Got that one. But we just kind of have to test. Oh, push it forward. There we go. Just gotta start pushing them forward. Alright, yeah. And then we gotta push this one. There we go. Yeah, this puzzle isn't that bad. Fortunately, at least. Oh. Okay. I, I think it was like, I need to push it back a little bit then. So here's the thing. I, I actually didn't have that much. I Again, I tested fake crash before stream, and I didn't have that many issues with him. Did I, am I missing one of them? No, okay. I, I really didn't think he was that bad. It might just be because I'm Magna Shift. But I did not have a like a hard time. Alright, let's do fake crash. Time for the boss. This could be a this could actually be it here. Because yeah, he spins at you, but I'm just gonna try to keep away from him basically. And then you're basically good if you just stay away. Yeah, but the, I, I tested the tiles. The tiles don't actually damage you that much at all. Like, that's a that's a later phase. Though we coming up. But the thing is, we can kind of just stay away from him. And he can't really do anything. That's the nice thing about uh, us having the really good mobility. Is he's going to have a... As long as we don't just really let him touch him, we should be good. Why do people uh, hate on a match ace? Dude, I could give you a whole giant list. Uh, I could give you a whole list. I, I could pull up, I remember I made a whole list of why a match is bad. It's not even all the reasons why it's bad. It's just only some of the reasons. But yeah. No, don't, don't believe color. Color is an imaginator's enjoyer. The color's lying to you. Color's lying to you. I'm telling you. Yeah, that's. I, and then I, I'll go on another rant why Superchargers is like peak perfection. I seem to do that like every every once in a while on that stream. I just I'm like, cause I'll, I I will never understand. Oh, okay. There we go. There. He dropped some food for us. I'm not gonna pick it up if I can't, or if I can avoid. I'm gonna try not pick him up. Yeah, steal it. That does 22 damage. Obviously, I don't want to get hit by any of it, but still, the fact that it does that little, I'm really not that scared. I think what my strategy ended up being on this level is just, I don't really care about the tiles. It's more of just, just shooting fake crash the entire time. As long as you don't get uh, caught by his uh, spin, you should be good. Yeah, Magnus should still have a, has all of his life. Look at that. We're getting so much food stacked up, and we're doing fine. Superchargers and Swap Force, for me, it's... I'm always going to choose... Uh, I'm going to choose Superchargers. It's just better, in my opinion. I get it. People don't like the cars, but Swap Force's levels are so dang long that it's ridiculous. I don't like them. I don't like that you can't attack while you jump. And I feel like most of the older characters aren't that good in Swamp Force, but they buffed the, uh... They buffed, uh, like, the Trap Team cores of Superchargers, and I feel like that makes it a little more enjoyable for me. Yeah, that, well, I mean, yeah, it has, uh, it doesn't have that much post-game, but here's the thing, I don't enjoy Swamp Force's post-game that much. It's kind of repetitive and boring for me. Because here's the thing, sure, it has a lot of content, but if the content isn't really that fun, I don't want to play it. Like, Fortnite Save the World has so much content in it, like, so many quests to get through, but if it's not fun, then who cares? Yeah. 
Bait crash is so hard. Yeah, I, uh huh. Yeah, not with Magnus Shift, he's not. Barely even got hit that much. Level complete. Yeah, that, that level is so flippin' easy. Yeah, okay, yeah, the Swap Force bonus missions, they're fine. But, like, the, uh, score mode and, like, the speedrun one, the time attack... Basically, they, like, force you to replay the game a bunch of times, which I get it, but, yeah. Oh, yeah, reminder to turn the music off. That's right. Yeah, I think, uh, score mode and time attack I'm just not a big fan of. And also, to get 100% in Swap Force... I right, gotta turn the music off now again. We'll turn the Superchargers music back on. And then, uh, actually, you know what? Um, what we'll do is let me get Layer of Chaos and I'll download that and we'll just have that play until the Chaos boss fight. Because I think if we end up doing that, it makes sense. I actually don't remember what music plays in that level. We be real. But I'll just download the Layer of Chaos real fast and I'll download, uh, Actually, I'll let us decide. What Chaos boss fight music do we want for the actual Chaos boss fight? We can play the SSA theme, uh, or we can play Giants. I'm more of a Giants guy, but uh, I want to see what you guys want. Here, because I'm downloading the, the theme real fast for Layer of Chaos, and I'll slap it in here. It might be loud when it starts, because I haven't auto-adjusted it, but get ready. Alright, there we go. We're going to turn it down quite a bit. There, that should be good. If it if it gets too louder than me, uh, tell me. But layer of chaos, here we come. Oh wait, hang on. I gotta make it show sure I can hear the layer of chaos too. It's gonna be so awkward for me if I just can't hear it. Oh, let's see properties. Oh yeah, you gotta make sure to loop it because if it just plays for like a minute and forty uh, three seconds, it'd be super awkward. Yeah, I can't use the chaos uh, music from Trap Team because it's copyrighted. Sounds like most people want Giants. Superchargers, oh yeah, I kind of forgot that. I think the Superchargers one is pretty good, but it's not like any, it's not crazy or anything. It's all right, it's good, but it's not that good. Um. There we go, I can hear that. Uh, I'll probably just use the Giants uh, theme when we get there. Alright, this is what two years has led to. Um, we didn't do all the Sensei Realms, but that's just because they're mostly boring. Chaos Sweep? Well, I hope not. Uh, I would love to lower the music a bit. Okay, uh, the Chaos theme is pretty loud. Here, let me, let me look at my OBS. Oh yeah, it is, it is pretty loud. Um, Alright, yeah. Uh, uh, there, it's at negative 26, which should be pretty good. Uh, there's gonna be like an awkward pause where the music loops. Uh, unless it doesn't loop. It doesn't seem like it's looping. Hang on, let me figure out... That loop. There we go. That should work. All right, here we go. The, the Lair of Chaos. Here we go. This is what two years has led to. So if we fail now, I'm gonna cry myself sleep because we're gonna have to literally play all six games again. Things are finally coming together for me. Yeah, we'll just skip on this. I am a little bit scared of Chaos's minions here. At least uh, to start, we got an undead advantage. We do have to kill these guys at least. The only guy I'm scared of is this big dude. Is this? Yeah. No. Look how fast his ground slam comes out. I I swear I jumped over that too. All the other ones, yeah, whatever. They're not too tough. Can I pick this guy up? Aha! I can't. No, go off. What? 
There we go. <laughs> There we go. I don't think I even need to fight these guys. I'll pick one of them up so they don't annoy me as much. Because I'm pretty sure you can just do... Where am I actually placing this? Oh, I think I even rotate it a little bit. There we go. Oh, he ran out of time. Time runs out. There we go. Uh, luckily, we don't have to do the gong battle, uh, which is fortunate. This Robo's dead, so we don't have any way of doing the gong battle. Right there, there, guys. there he goes. Yeah, I, I don't have a sensei left, so we're good. Another undead zone, though. They're just being generous now. There we go. They can't annoy us. I don't remember what side the prism's on. I think it's... Yeah, it's on the other side. All right. Did you do this? Well, I hope I can. We're about to find out or not. The only guy in this whole level I'm even scared of... Oh, there's Chaos the Soul Gem. Yeah, the only thing I'm scared about on this whole level is just simply the fact uh, that the big chaos with the ground slam. I don't know how many more of those we're going to have to fight. That's the only thing I'm scared of. Yeah, this is the end. We're almost there. Just throw the guys off the cliff. He should be golden. So it makes it so this puzzle's not nearly as annoying. There we go. Okay. Well, the series is only over if we lose, remember? So, or not if we don't lose. Uh, wait, no, yeah, if we lose, then the series still goes, so they go all the way back to Spyros. Well, and now, please welcome. Is it even possible to get a higher score than Kaz? Uh, yeah, it actually is. Uh, that's an achievement, uh, to break the scoreboard, uh, for the Xbox versions and the PlayStation versions. Uh, basically you just have to keep camping where the enemies spawn infinitely. I think you can do it towards the end of the level. Oh yeah, we can just come back to this heal pad if we want to. So yeah, you can. I'm sure he's overstating our ultimate deal, but just think... I mean, yeah, Chaos is not gonna be the hardest thing if we have shift. Yeah, 100%. But still in my test run, I still did have a little bit of difficulty with him. Just a little bit. But yeah, you can actually beat Chaos' score in the scoreboard here. Yeah, the achievement for landing on the islands is just annoying. Just look up a guide for that one and you should be good. Because, you know, if you screw up, you basically have to start all over again, and it's just super... It's just annoying, honestly. Yeah, this big chaos... He's almost scarier than the actual real chaos. But as long as we take this guy out, we should be good. Ooh, okay, they hit me there. Come here. But, but this level is so easy because Megatrush just does not care. You can just throw everybody off. And I can just go pick the health up over here and we should be good. But, uh, oh yeah, I think we already hit the end of the level here. Ooh, okay, hang on. I'm actually gonna go back, because here's the thing, it technically counts as a new level, right? Uh, I think. But I'm not entirely sure if our lives reset when we get to the Chaos fight, so I don't want to lose one beforehand. 
So we're gonna we're gonna play it safe a little bit here. Because I'm not entirely sure if the big guy, if he kills a, one of our lives, I don't know. I feel like we can stand up here and we should be good. Yeah, we can just stand up here and he can't do anything. I think. Oh, he knows how to jump. All right, come on. You're coming with me. All right, here we go. <laughs> Look at the guy just standing there. Yes, that's right. These sky bozos have absolutely no idea that they've finally been beaten once and for all. Right. Skylanders, giant chaos fights. We gotta download that theme real fast. Hmm. This one's only five minutes. I'll download that one. Be a little bit shorter to download. I'll just loop it. But yeah, here we go. Now, it is technically the full version. It's just not the extended version. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so I can shoot the Doomlanders and they get... It damages Chaos? Like, is there... Before we go into this, right... I want to know, is it like I only do half damage to Chaos when I shoot the Doomlanders, or is it full damage? I, I need to know that before I go in. Because it's like, this Chaos really isn't that hard, right? They just share it. Uh, okay, they just share it. That's good to know. Alright, let's see. I'll disable Layer of Chaos here. And now... I'll put on the chaos theme or whatever. What's this one called? Oh, it's just called Bringing Order to Chaos. Honestly, I might have already had that one downloaded. Probably didn't need to download it. All right, remember, it's going to blast your ears for a second. I'll turn it down. There we go. Okay. Is that too loud? If it is, tell me and I can turn it down a little more. All right, you know what? I'll turn it to there. That's probably good. All right, here we go. Well, looky here, Brain. It appears those precious Skylanders made it all the way into our heavily guarded chamber within our completely impenetrable fortress. I'm right. so here, impressed. I'm making sure while the cutscene to make it so I can hear it. It's impressive when you think about it, but I do think about it. Quiet, Brain. Make it a little louder. All right, hang on, hang on. It's a banging theme, so I want it as loud as we can get it without making me too quiet. All right, if I, if it gets too loud, tell me. Look, we fought plenty of these guys before, so we should be good. This is basically the end here. So we're about to see if this ends up being because uh, towards the only towards the begin or the end is when it gets hard. But he does have a lot of health. You got to jump over rings, which is like my least favorite thing. Yeah, the healing elixir doesn't work in this game. But yeah, we're just gonna. I I want to know one of the enemies at a certain point when they die they drop bananas. I want to know if it's this guy because he's the first guy. Remember in the boss battle in the first level, uh, I remember these guys will give off bananas when they die. I don't know if it's just when these guys die or what. If so, I want to kill these guys then. We can get some extra health on the field. Oh, it doesn't look like he gave a banana, so it must just be later in the boss fight. Pause and put it on the grand finale. What are you talking about? This is... Do you mean like uh, the stage 5 music or whatever? It's just full mix right now. Yeah, I think it is random when they do the banana. Take that. 
Yeah, and also, uh, this guy, the one person that seems like the mortars down can hurt their own teammates, which is pretty funny. Yeah, friendly fire. Alright, so far so good, but let's not jinx anything. Dude, they, if we win this, Magna Ship is going to be the hardest carry of all time. I actually, okay, these guys are a little bit more tough. Like the spin person and the uh, little boomerang or whatever. Luckily, we can kind of get out of them, still. They are on the more annoying side. But I think we can do it. I think we can. Yeah, I do not want to be set back two whole years. We've come this far. All right, there goes those guys. Yeah, he gets slowed down for like a millisecond though by that. Do it for sight, dude. We're not even doing it for sight. We're doing it for all of them. All the all the guys that have haven't made it. We can get the hard carries, Magna Shift though. Turn the music up? Okay. I can. There. I turned it up a little bit, but I don't want it to be too loud. You know what I'm saying? I do not like the arrow guy. I want to get the arrow guy out of here. Oh, yeah. See, I when I get behind it, like all of them, it's kind of hard to see. Ah! Ah! We need to get that banana stat. Oh, it's not a banana, it's pizza. Alright, how many lives? He's still got all of his lives. We're doing good. We're doing good. And I got the magnet on his head just in case some food spawns. We can get it without having to go all the way over there. I think he can actually hurt his uh, dudes as well. Oh, maybe the shockwave doesn't hurt him. Okay. But I swear he killed one of them by accident. Alright, the music should loop here in a second. So. There we go. Pretty sure that it was on loop mode. Right, there we got one of them. I want to get rid of this little blaster dude. This is the guy that killed like three of our dudes last night. He doesn't have the annoying boomerang, fortunately. Uh, because that was the most annoying part of him. It's his little boomerang. Oh man, I need to get out of his line of sight. Oh, more food. Alright, sweet. Alright, here we go. Next phase. Doing good though. This is, <laughs> this chaos design so it's definitely not as good as the other ones, but it's more it's kinda of funny that they just literally went, alright, he's Goku. That's just all they went with this design in. It is kinda of funny. Yeah, he's got one attack. He can like do a that and that's it. Well he relies more on his Doomlanders than himself. It's more of the Doomlanders are gonna screw you up. Or you're gonna try, uh, you're gonna pay too much attention to the Doomlanders and get hit by a shockwave. That's his like, that's the whole game plan of this boss fight for him. But I am happy that I, I practiced this boss fight before. Same with Crash. So I knew how to basically stay away. Ooh, dude, we just got armor. Magna Shift is being a gamer right now. I didn't even disable the UI or anything like I said I would. 
We're just doing that good so far. I know I can, if I can get around those guys, I can get in the middle and just get some free damage on Chaos, but I guess they share, so it's okay. Alright, we're doing good. Ooh, okay. So yeah, uh, if we didn't have Magna Shift, I don't know, I don't think we would have made it through this lot. I don't think we would have. It's not Jover, that's right. It's not a Jover, it's not Jover yet. We can do this. Where am I? Oh, there I am. I was having a hard time seeing where I was at. It's not Jover yet, yeah. Oh, next phase. The only issue is when we go to our next live, we can get stuck in the locker animation. Or not the locker, but the coffin animation. And that can screw us up. I should have put the S. I personally prefer the Giants one. I will always be a Giants theme kind of guy. Come on! We're so close! Yeah, Giants is, I think, is way more hype, yeah. Uh oh. You gotta get out of there! Come on! Alright, we lost one life, that's okay though. Alright, I need I need to play it careful. Because uh for those that don't know, actually when you jump and shoot with Magna Charge, it lowers him faster than his jump would. So I have to make sure and not jump too early and shoot. Oh not the bow and arrow guys. Honestly, I'm gonna see if I can just try and maybe avoid these guys. I do not okay, they're gone. Sweet. Because those guys are probably the most annoying out of the bunch. How many lives? Uh, we do have another one after this. Ooh. All right, we still have another life after this. We gotta take him out now. I don't really remember when he brought out the saw. I won't lie. When did he? What? What boss was the saw guy? Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Now I'm a little nervous. Keep shooting, it doesn't matter who I shoot. Just shoot somebody. Oh, not the bow guys, not the bow guys. Those are not the guys I wanna see. We did it! Yes! Two years, baby! Oh. Oh. The ultimate lock has been beaten. Oh. Nightmare mode unlocked. I, I'm not gonna lie, I had my doubts. Like I said, uh, towards the end there, even when I was doing my testing, I lost mm. both of his extra lives. I don't think we could have done it with Magna Shift. But I, it is such a relief 
because I was so scared that I was gonna have to <sighs> restart this whole thing. But we did it. And I am so happy. <laughs> it's Drover now, but in a good way. It's Drover now. <sighs> that was scary. My when I lost that last life there, my uh, my heart started beating a little bit. Because uh, <laughs> that could have been bad. All right. All right, we can turn off the music now. Are we forgetting something? What are we gonna do with Time to rap. All right, here. Someone said they sent me the the lyrics. This isn't over, fools. Now let's see. Where is the lyrics? Not the Skylanders Imaginators rap. Do I have to sing it? Oh, oh no, it's long, dude. What the hell? It's long. Now, as the smartest, most powerful brain in the why is it long? And Skylander Academy's newest professor. It is yeah, but if I sing it, it's just gonna be really cringy because I don't have a singing voice. Come closer and let me tell you a tale. Oh yeah, I did, uh, didn't play the ending credits. That means we have to go manually seek out the ending credits. <sighs> Alright, let's, let's go Thanks, on sir. over. We have to go to the academy here. Oh, look at the beginning of the loot. Yeah, because I remember like, uh... I think Scott. Eon says like, drop the beat or whatever. Use your imagination and get the power of a crystal is that they call creation uh, creation crystal or creation creation. Uh, if you think you can make it, we got the power and no one can break it. Oh, oh wait, no, it's over here. That's right. I remember the little teleport is here. Welcome to the theater, Portal Master. Here, you can read uh, memorable moments from your adventures. All right, we're gonna go skyline. all the way to the end here. I think that, or unless we passed it, I think. Ugh. Ugh. I'm getting embarrassment. I haven't even done it yet. All right. We got the lyrics pulled up. Now is the time, Portal Master. Drop the beat. Ugh. Yes, I... Boy and girl are stronger in this zone. Your bets against the wall up in the Okay, there we go. Is there a... Wait. I have the crystal they call creation creation. I don't know when to time this. The power that no one can break it. Masters, get up in this fight. Bring your imagination to life. It's Tell me, can I? The luminous pants? Sure, man. Change the color. Change the color of his skin. That's kind of a. That's a sus line. Uh, somebody tell me the battles are at because we are ready in every attack. Pick up the battle plus, we got 10. Ugh. I, I gotta even find where we're at. This song is so bad. I hate it so much. Wait, does he talk about every single sensei in this? So I see Aurora. What the? Uh, I. Why? Not as good as you remember. No wonder. Yes, he does. Oh, just one of each slash. Oh, thanks, the Lord. I, I I can't sing it because I don't have I don't know the flow of it. But we can at least listen to it. Ooh. Put my hands up. What? This is not a banger. This is. I am not gonna be raising the roof to this. Yeah, I can't sing it because I don't know actually like the 
like the tempo or whatever and how fast stuff goes. I don't even know where he's at in this song. Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess I can live with the instrumentals. But, dude. Oh, yeah, look. Crash Bandicoot uh, Adventure Pack Team. Uh, where's that? Where even? I don't even know where I'm at in the song. Uh, I can't. No, there's no way any one of you, a single one of you, well, this pain, it, don't worry, it's coming up. It's coming up. I just can't believe that there was somebody in my comment section, right? They told me that this song was fire. I knew they were lying to me. But who listened to this and went, oh, yeah. Now that is what I'm talking about. Crank it up right now. That's what I like. No. Why? Who? No. It's so bad. Uh, what is wrong? Dude, I'm, they're forcing me to watch it, Mitchell. They're forcing me to listen to it. They wanted me to sing it. I couldn't. I, it was just too bad. After this, apparently it plays all the themes from the previous games. And I'm fine with that. Dude, how long is this song? It's almost done, right? Just try- Yeah, yeah. How do you think I feel? You guys are forcing me to listen to this, and it's just the worst thing ever. Apparently, some people had never even heard this before. And I- I'm so sorry that you had to hear it now. It's still going! Oh. oh, I found it. His golden queen, unleash her sky chief for a massive team of scare beetles that will reign supreme. Oh no, this song, it's getting close to the end. It's getting close. It's only six minutes. Turn it down. I, I would rather just turn it off. I want to know, okay, why K or Eon is barely in this game, but they actually got him to record lines for this. He's not even in the game. He's like in the intro, and he doesn't even come in and say, like, you know, your journey is good job, blah, blah, blah. Are we almost done? Please tell me. Oh, I think we're almost done. Thank the Lord. We're almost there. Yeah, it's, 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 I know it is. It's not my fault that they put it in the credits, okay? It's not my fault. Dude, it's gotta be close. Yes, we're almost done. Okay, we're almost done. Your imagination to life. It's done. It's done. It's done. Oh, okay, finally! Oh! Turn that up. Yes, please. That is what I want to hear. Oh! Good heavens! That color, nuh uh. Uh uh. You can't tell me that song was actually good. Oh my. Ugh, that was horrible! Please listen. No, we are not. We're never listening to that ever, ever again. That was, uh, that was horrible. That was so bad. Uh, watch it again. I was like, it doesn't matter. You can hear it. And that was just atrocious. Oh. Skylander dad has a hidden talent. Let's keep it hidden. Yes. Thank you. Oh. I don't know how long uh, the credits go on for here, but at least the music's good here. Ugh. 
that was horrible. But it is uh, really cool that I realized when I was starting up the Imaginators lock again, uh, I realized that we could end it up uh, the day that the, like on the second anniversary that the Spires Adventure, the first one premiered. And uh, I'm happy that we were able to do that because for those that I told a little bit earlier in the stream, I actually had a tornado warning last night and I was a little bit pissed. I was like, there's no way a tornado is going to come in here. Destroy all my stuff, right? You know, it just destroys all my Skylanders, uh, because here, I guess I could kind of show you. I have a cabinet over here. I can't, I just can't really fully see it, but, uh, yeah, let's see. Can the camera see it? Yeah, look, there's a cabinet over there that's got, like, all my Skylanders stuff in it. There's another cabinet right there, which I haven't, like, filled up or anything. Um, and then I got, like, a, let's see, what is it? Over there, I got, like, a Giants poster on the wall and stuff like that. Uh, I think I've had that up since I was, like, 11 or 10. There's obviously the Xbox, but like, yeah. Oh yeah, I can hold it like this, it's kind of funny. But yeah, I got the Spires Adventure poster over there. Uh, that is a fully maxed out Spires Adventure poster and everything. Uh, do I have, actually, If I know you can't see it over there, but there's actually like a Lego Hellfire droid and like Lego Star Wars ships on top of that cabinet. There's all the, uh, what is it? The Eons Elite, except Spire, I don't have Spire or whatever, but you know. There's the uh, prison break and the storm blade or whatever, but we did it, boys. We did it. <sighs> oh, actually, speaking of uh, Legos, I do have some Legos like right there. There's like the little little walker. There's like a Lego set uh, right there. I don't know. That was like from the Lego movie, though. I got a big old Star Wars poster there. Uh, there's Egg. For anybody that remembers Egg, I've never taken him out of the box and just sits there. But yeah. Um, Show, I, I can't show you my Transformers. Uh, I don't think uh, I can show you my Transformers. I don't have any of them up here with me. They're all in a bucket. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the, literally this cabinet though right here. I, like, I get lazy and I just throw all the Skylanders that I use for streams in there. Oh yeah, I guess we did have some Senseis in there. Uh, you know, like Starcast. Yeah, yeah, there was a, quite a few of them in there. I don't know if there's any... I have a box for one of the water starter pack. I don't know why that's in there. It's obviously loose or whatever, but it's in there. Uh, but yeah. That's the first time I've ever been able to like show off any of like, obviously, uh, my stuff. <laughs> Cause I don't really like take you guys on tours of my room or whatever. So, uh, yeah. I don't really have anything more exciting to room with. Uh, my room is, trust me, not that exciting, other than that Skylanders cabinet, which I can't bring the camera over there. I would love to, trust me. But the camera, uh, you, know, you can see the cord, that's the camera cord, and it does, it literally, right here is the max. It does not go any farther than that. I have to bring the shelf to the camera. So, uh, but I really appreciate you guys, uh, you know, hanging out with me. This has been two years in the making. I know the camera lighting isn't adjusting and stuff, but... I, we had the gaming bison up there in the corner or whatever. You know, for those that are curious, like, OBS, what that looks like, that's what it looks like. We beat it. Normally I go full screen and everything like that, but uh, we did it, boys. <sighs> uh, I know it's not the webcam wasn't as exciting as what I wanted to do for the finale. Uh, I'll see if I can still do... Because uh, I wanted to do ending credits. That's what I wanted to do for the ultimate lock. But I didn't have time to do it with the whole tornado thing and just having people over. I played instead of doing the, the credits, I played Victorious Time to Shine. So, you know, whatever. But I really appreciate you guys going on this journey with me. It's been two years, but it's finally come to an end. And that's kind of crazy for me. Here, I'll put her put her back up there. Uh, we can we can talk a little more why the credits play. Uh, oh, yeah, Eddie, what was that thing I was going to, what was it? I, there was something that I need to show of Eddie's. Um, I, I remember, I needed to show it. I promised I would. What was it? Eddie, do you remember what it was? There was something I, I promised. I remember, I promised. What was it? I gotta pull up the chat again so I can see what it is. 
Oh, yeah, I need to credit Eddie for obviously the thumbnail, but I swear there was something else that I needed to show. And, uh, you didn't tell me. What did I, what did I need to tell you? I need to, I need to, there's something I need to show you, or show them. I think it was a picture, right? Was it a picture? Oh, my, the dog tag? No, I don't, it wasn't the dog tag. I could go get the dog tag. It's probably, probably in there. I think so. Uh, check memes. Is it memes? Is that what I need to show? All right, let me check. Uh, I'm not seeing it. I swear it was so. I guess I can just go back through Eddie's DMs. And I can find what it was. Oh yeah, yeah. Stand up for yeah. yeah it's this. I swear it was. Oh, oh yes, I do remember. Okay, hang on. Uh, we weren't able to do it. Uh, I, I remember now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, Eddie, yeah, yeah, I see you. I see. Here, so we need to mute this soundtrack because uh, we didn't get to properly listen to one of the best Skylander songs in history. Unlike the horrible rap. Uh, there's actually a good Skylander song that I think is, uh, fitting that we all listen to, because it's so good. It's so good. Alright, hang on, let me look it up and download it. Ah, uh, here it is. Full song. There. Okay. Yeah, I gotta download it real fast and make sure this is the right song, so. Yeah, that's it. That's the song. Right, let me download it real fast. Uh, can we see everyone who was in the Ultimate Life? I, I mean, I suppose. I don't know if I have them all next to me. Some of them are like in the cabinet or whatever. Obviously, you know, we got our boy here. Um, let's see. <sighs> There's, here's the fan favorite, Zook. I still have him near. It's good old society. He's got his hat on and everything. Um, let's see, there's, uh, there's Camo. He didn't really get to do that much, unfortunately. And then, let's see who we got over here. Oh, okay, another fan favorite, Maurice. There he is. You know, I've never, I, I got this blackout, right? Uh, a long time ago, and I got it for 30 bucks on Amazon. I have never seen another blackout that has good wings like this. Every single, like, w or, uh, blackout I see is second-handed, and the wings don't look like this. They're all bad. All right, hang on. Let's, uh, we'll put Supercharged, uh, we gotta put our, put our song on here. I think it should be downloaded. Because, honestly, it, it, that's my, this is the fitting song. Here it is. A new day is dawning. I need to turn it down. And I gotta make it so I can hear it. This song bangs hard, alright? This, I, most people don't even know this is a full song. But it absolutely is, and it's freaking awesome. And we're listening to this song while we talk before the stream goes off. This song is a banger. And it's, nobody can tell me otherwise. This song, this was a fitting in for Skylanders, all right? This song was awesome. And then we got that horrible rap. We got that horrible song. No, nuh-uh. This song's awesome. And I gotta put on what I promised Eddie that I would. All right, where is it? I gotta keep my promise. All right, save image. I gotta put it up. I'm obligated. Where is it? There we go. Stand up for our national anthem, everyone. I don't care if it covers the face cam here. There we go. We got it right in the middle. We can uh, we can move it down a little bit. Have it covering the whole screen. This is our anthem, not that stupid rap. 
this. It's so good. Nobody knows this is a full song either. This song actually goes hard. I don't care what anybody says. You can say it's goofy, and it is goofy, but it's awesome. It's goofy awesome. But yeah, we can have we'll have that play uh, while while we I guess we can show off the rest of the ultimate luck crew. I might not get everybody. Uh, some of the first edition guys are backed away in storage, uh, but I get at least here. Let's get the the rest of the dudes. All right, here. Oh wait, it isn't looping. It's supposed to loop, but it's not. There we go. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see, what do we got? We got good old Cool Cat. I, I'm kind of sad that she died pretty early on, I won't lie. Or she died not that early, but it was a shame that we didn't get to get her money upgrade because that would have been a lot of fun to play with. Uh, and then it, who could forget? I believe, I truly believe, all right? This guy, this guy is so underrated that it hurts. I love this man to death. Good old Astro Base. He is so awesome. Anybody that doesn't have Astro Blast and has Superchargers or even Imaginaries, I highly recommend getting this guy. Yeah, rest in peace to our soldiers. Um, let's see, where are the other guys? Because I know there's like Mr. Rod, there's Sunburn, stuff like that. Uh, I know where Sunburn's at. I can go grab him, but you know, it's nothing special. He's just Sunburn. Uh, I think there's any of them hiding in here. Well, there's a Pena in here. I remember some guy asked if I had Pena. Well, there he is. So. He exists. Um, hang on. I could probably find some of them. You know what? I, I can show off some of my Skylander stuff. I can't bring the whole shelf, obviously, uh, but Robo? Oh yeah, where is he? I, oh, I think I put him back in the shelf. Or, where is he? You know, let me grab him. I think I, I might have put him back. Alright, I found him. There he is. Right there. Our boy. Yeah, so anybody that ever says, do you have Robo? Do you have Wildstorm? Boom! They're right there. I have both of them. So, so nobody can nobody can ask me that question ever again. They are legally not allowed because I have both. But I still think he's I still think this guy's cooler. I think he's cooler. I don't know if it costs more, but I still like him more. He's just so cool. All right, let's see. Where is the uh, yeah the, this back there? If I open that, there's a. You, you will see a ton of Skylander tubs. Here, let, me, let me go back there and open it. All of those are Skylander tubs. So let's grab some of these. Alright. We're bored. We don't got anything else to do. Do I have the green Chompy Mage? Unfortunately, not. I do not have the green Chompy Mage. That's uh, the one that escaped me. That's the one that escaped me. But yeah, uh, this is where I keep all the Giants variants. So, everybody's in there that's a Giant variant. I think uh, this thing, I don't know if it has anything in it anymore. I think it just has some favorites. Oh yeah, this is like my du uh, not dupe bag, uh, but just like characters I reset a lot, right? You gotta get the blue bash. Just characters that are like are duplicates of other characters. Like obviously, I have series one Shroom Boom. So there's nothing really exciting there. I got the blue chest, I guess. How? Okay, my question is, how are you supposed to tell what the difference between these guys? How are you? I I I don't know what. They're obviously from di two different packs, right? Because I bought them in the store. But they are completely identical. Alright? And I can't see what the difference is. So, oh well. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, the, uh... Got those Skylander tons. Let me drag them over here. This is like where all the, uh, the reposes for giants are. 
Yeah, so... Let's see, can I get the camera to capture that? There's just a... I can't really get the camera to... Oh wait, I can move the camera. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Yeah, so... It's kind of hard to angle it because I'm trying to... Do it with one hand. But yeah, I got all the... Uh, all the giant stuff in there. I also got the uh, the legendary guys in there as well. You're pr <laughs> I know you were praying on my downfall, Jess. That doesn't surprise me, though. But coming from you, I kind of expect that. I expect that. Completely. A hundred percent. Let's see. What's in this one? I think this one's like all the swap force reposes as well. Yeah, let me see if I can get over here. My, my cords are getting all tangled up. Oh, there's some trap team guys in here too. So yeah, so we got uh I didn't know this guy was in there, but he totally is. We got a dark food fight in there. Or where is he? There he is. So we got all the basically just a bunch of variants or I have two of these. I don't remember which one of these is my actual stealth though, so I don't put it in the duplicate bag. I don't remember which one's which, so I just have two of those. Alright? Uh but yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, it, dude, you know what? I've never shown you guys that I said I bought the whirlwind that has like a wing, or that's only wings. Yeah, let me grab that real fast. I have not got to show that off yet. Oh, the camera's falling over. There we go. Let me grab that. The cord's getting all wrapped around the. Uh... There we go. Heard you headphone cords. There we go. That fixed it a little bit. Alright, this. This right here. I know you get, can't see it yet. This is the Boombringer. This is the duplicate bag. This is the duplicate bag. There is a... I, I'm getting... It's getting too full. I'm gonna need another duplicate bag, okay? There are too many in here. There are too many. Like, do you think? Oh, where, where's the... Oh, there it is. Look at it. There it is. Love this guy. It's so funny. How did this even happen? I don't know. I saw it on eBay. I thought it was the funniest thing ever. Uh, whoever did, they put the sticker of the character on the bottom. But it's just so funny to me. How did this happen? How did they do this? If anything, I understand the leg breaking up. But how in the hell did they do that? Can I make the- yeah, I can make the face cam bigger. Here. It's not gonna have the little black square around it, but yeah. There. That makes it easier. Yeah, look. Look at this. What's going on here? Yeah, it's just the wings. What- what- what happened? What happened? I don't know. It's, it's goofy, though. Yeah, I can make it even a little bit bigger. I want to make sure it doesn't cover up the uh, the text, our message. There we go. That's good. But yeah, uh, I just I think one of these jetpacks is good old test jetpack. If any of you remember the that guy, the one that I literally put through hell for that one tutorial video. But yeah, no, there are so many duplicates in here. It's crazy. And these are only uh, these are only core duplicates. And I think there's like a life trap in there. Uh, but yeah, these are only duplicates. Uh, I have even more duplicates. I have the expensive duplicates down there. Yeah, let's let's grab those. We're, we don't got anything to do. Uh, oh wait, let's, I haven't shown off. Uh, these little, dude, I got these little bags at Toys R Us. They're kind of cute. Got a bunch of magic items in there. So they're kind of yeah, whatever. But uh. Yeah, we've got all the light cord guys in there from all the games. Maybe you guys can't really see them, but trust me, they're there. Do I, no, I do not go to the gym. Uh, I probably should. Probably should. Uh, yeah, I probably should. There's another one. What is, what's in the other one? I can't remember. Oh, this is more magic items. Just like the trap team and the, uh, the spiral ones. I know ELQ does. It's very apparent. <laughs> I probably should. You know, this this little flab meat here. Mm. No. 
Uh, I, I gotta get on the grind. I gotta. I gotta wait till some girl breaks my heart though. That's when you start pumping the iron. Uh, but yeah. Uh, got this doomstone that I found at like a vintage stock or whatever. It was a pretty good deal. I already had Doomstone, but I just bought it because it was a good deal. So, got Doomstone. Let's see what I'm doing. I bought this like thirty dollar. I already own like Core Pop Fizz, but it came with another one. So, the eyes a little bit scratched. I don't know if you guys can see that. Here, let me bring it closer to the camera. No, it's not focusing on it. Trust me, there is a scratch on it. So, uh, I'll just grab all of it. Uh, and these are all my expensive duplicates, I meaning I already have them. Got another Red Whisper L. Uh, I think I got this one for like three dollars or whatever. Not super rare, right? It's just like got a Boom Bloom. Uh, I don't remember. I think I got this one at a lot or something like that. Then uh, got another Riptide. Um, I got another Bowser, which he's not too expensive, but I put him in there regardless. One other thing. Oh! Yes! I do remember it. I haven't shown this off before. People on my Discord server know all about it, but it's so cool that I gotta show it off anyways. Uh, I meant to show it off in a video that I was making a while back, but uh, I'll just show it for those. Since we made it to the end of all the month, I'll show it off. Uh, here we are. There we go. This good old wind up. Uh. Oh, did I call Flipwreck Riptide? Oh, uh, whatever. Uh, they're both stinkers. I don't care. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, good old, good old Vine up here. He's awesome. I love him to death. Uh, there's a uh, 360 for anybody wondering. And uh, yeah, this was the very first one that Taylor made for anybody. Uh, was for me, other than obviously himself. So we love Vine up. And for those that are wondering, like a size comparison, like on the portal. Uh, this, it basically takes up a big chunk of the Trap Team portal. No, no, he's, uh, he's absolutely beautiful. There was a, uh, a listing, right, for, uh, one of Taylor's customs. Some goofy goober, right, bought Taylor's custom and then proceeded to, so Taylor's custom was like 50 bucks, right? Something like that. And they, they ended up deciding to resell the custom that they bought, right? And they resold, they tried to resell it for $100. It was like a, uh, I think it was a Heartbreaker Buckshot. It's obviously custom, it doesn't work in the game. Uh, but it's just like, why would you buy a custom figure and then try to resell it? That's just so scummy. Because it's custom, and they don't appreciate all the work that's been put into it. Oh, what is that t-shirt? Oh, this is Saw. This is Saw Goodman. Right here. And even the, even this like the the shoulder sides are Saul Goodman as you can see, like on both sides. Yeah, Saul Goodman. I don't know about the back. Is the back got Saul? Yeah, the back does have Saul. I mean, it's hard to see this. Yeah, yeah. My my friend Tanner got me for that for uh, Christmas. Oh, Dr Pepper food, dude. I hang on. Let me go get all the food fights. I'm gonna have to walk all the way downstairs, but it's worth it. Uh, but other than that, I think uh, I basically run out of things to show you that are exciting but uh yeah yeah, yeah no uh here if yeah, let me put the link if any of you want to go to taylor's page and save it uh taylor makes awesome customs and they're just absolutely gorgeous here i'll put the the link in the chat if i can highly recommend uh checking them out taylor's customs are just freaking awesome Honestly, they're amazing, uh, and you should just check them out. They're just awesome. So, but yeah, uh, yeah. So let me go uh, grab the food fights. I have them in a bucket. I think there's some other characters in the bucket, but they're mostly food fights. Uh, yeah, I'll grab the food fights, and then I guess we'll call it a stream. Right, let me go grab them. Stumble all over these skylanders that are on the floor here.
So basically, oh man. So basically, uh, we have these. Uh, not only do I have a bunch of food fights, but basically, I'll show. I have all these broken ones too. I brought a broken box. All right. Yeah, let's see. I kind of put just some of the random ones I've gotten, uh, but most of these are food fights. Yeah, look at that. Just look at all the food fights. You know, there's like a, a Empire of Ice with like a Tree Rex and a Sonic Boom. Just some random junk. Uh, but yeah, there's a bunch of food fights in this tub. Oh yeah, I also got this uh, the sticker. It's cute. I love it. So, yeah. Um, and then I'll show the broken ones because there's some funny broken ones. Uh, that's that. Uh, we're done. No, I, I'm definitely not competing with Mike Annoy. He's got me... Got me beat, <laughs> probably. Like, I, I, I've never broken a Skylander before. I bought these already broken. It's like, what happened? What happened to this guy? What'd they do to him? Why'd they do that to him? Uh, there's some broken ones that I don't see what the damage is. I think like he's got like a scuff on his eye, but other than that, I think he's fine. Uh, another classic, of course. Uh. My Hex isn't missing an arm, but this one is. Let's see. Um, oh, dude. This one is so funny. Look at this Slam Bam. He's in half. He's a swapper now. He's Slam and the Bam. Yeah, you can swap him. Uh, dude. No, I want to know what happened. What happened to this? Look at this guy. Did he get dipped in acid? What even, what even possibly could have happened with this guy? He must have got like dipped in like complete acid. He's I know it's not like focusing, it's trying to focus on me, but Good lord, what happened to this guy? He's just absolutely destroyed. No, I know it's a dog, but it's just so funny because he just he's absolutely destroyed. Uh this looks like acid. Uh, but yeah, I, I I enjoyed buying this like big old box that just had some broken ones. I've never even seen a broken food fight before. Like uh, the arm came off there. So but yeah. Oh no, this one was funny. I thought this one was really funny. Uh, who's Dynarin? He's got his arms up, right? And it looks like he's doing like a he's about to do his secondary attack. And I'm like, dude, that's series two. That's series two Dynarin right there. That's series two Dynarin. I don't know how they got his arm like up that, but I think it's kind of funny. And then who could forget the classic? Notice that there's nothing wrong. Of course not, because for some reason all hot dog tails are like legally obligated to break off. But I don't know what's up with that or why, but uh, of course another classic Skylander that breaks, Flashwing. And then. Uh, you know, Brawl missing an arm here. I just, right, this is, these are all duplicates for me. I have so many of these plastic goofy goofies, it's just ridiculous. Poor old Flame Slinger, a little bit of his bow is broken there. Oh, wait, and his, uh, ponytail's gone. So, rip for that. Another, uh, dude, you know what, actually? We could do a collab with this Whirlwind right here. It's missing a wing. Got that Whirlwind that's only wings. Do like a Frankenstein surgery, bring him back to life. But yeah, uh, other than that, I have a lot of mess to clean up now because I dragged out like a bunch of tubs. So, hooray for me that now I have to deal with that. So, but yeah, man, I think this is the last one I gotta show. It's just, I got this big old bag, this huge Ziploc bag. This poor old uh, Gusto, his boomerang has broken off. Yeah, other than that. 
I appreciate you guys hanging out, mate. I got the uh, the Zero Gravity Dairy Queen Blizzard. Uh, used to work at Dairy Queen, so they just gave me that poster for free. So, yeah. Ugh. I don't really got anything too interesting left to show you guys. Of course, the camera wants to fall off and attack me, but... Yeah. Uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Uh, it was a fun journey. Two whole years. Um, you know, and it's just like... I have so much of this plastic, it's so crazy. I need to buy another one of Taylor's cool customs, because, uh, the, one of their, the Heartbreaker one looked really cool, and the fist bump. Actually, you know what, maybe I'll show a picture of that, you know what, before we go, because it's just so cool. Uh, and there's like a spot in the bottom, right, for your, an NFC card, if you want to do that. Yeah, let's see if, uh, OBS will just accept the picture. Yeah, here we go. Now look at that. I, I know I'm kind of covering myself up here, but like, look at that. Those are all custom made. And I would actually argue and say uh, that he's gotten better. So look at that wind up right there. And look at mine. I would actually say, there, I gotta make it anyway. Now, of course, I know my camera isn't the best quality, but I would actually say the colors and everything are actually better on his newer stuff. So... I highly recommend you guys checking him out, because uh, he's just awesome. Uh, and I think uh, you also, that fist bump right there, you can get it normally colored too. But yeah, I just, those are all, he modeled those customly and painted them. So, I just gotta give him credit where credit's due. So, Taylor's awesome. Uh, I really love the wind up I have here. I hope I can, uh, I will admit, getting the NFC card in the bottom is a little bit difficult, but most of the time I don't even want to put the NFC card in the bottom because, you know, if I do that, then it's going to be really hard to get out, so I just end up usually just sticking it halfway under there and it works fine, so. But yeah, for those that are interested in customs, uh, I highly recommend checking it out, but uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me, but I think it's finally time for this guy to be swapped back to his original swap. After two years. Ooh. Oh, Eddie. Okay, hang on. Boom. Big last question. Wolfgang X Reader or Skylanders? I would rather do the... I'd, I'd rather have done the fan fiction. I'm not gonna lie. At least I get a giggle out of that. The rap's just awful. It, it, there's no way around it. It's just bad. It's just... Ugh. Here, let's see. Do I have the swap in here? Oh, I don't think I do. I have the metallic shroom boom, though. I don't know why he's in there. I was hoping I could, uh, on live stream, just swap this bad boy, put him back, finally put him back into storage, or not storage, because I actually like using Magnet Church a lot. Uh, but yeah, now this guy has been in this swap combination for two whole years, and I haven't been able to use him in, like, just to enjoy the game, which, uh, because obviously, you know, he's been swapped. Where is this? It might be over here. It might not be. So I'm gonna look like a goober if I get up and walk over there and it's not there. I know where. I know where two places it could be. I want to see if I can try and find it, and then, then we'll call it. We'll call it quits because uh, I feel like uh, this is gonna be therapeutic for me if I can finally swap him back to what he's supposed to be. I got so much plastic all over the room now. I'm gonna step on him. I'm gonna break a million food fights. Uh, it's a hot summer day outside. I want to go outside, take a dip in the pool, you know? As much as I love Skylanders, you know, it, it, I don't know what live stream series I'll have after this. Uh, I'm sure there'll be bigger events and less part series, uh, or like, you know, less uh, part based. Here, let's see. Let's see if I can find him over there. I have the. Yeah, alright, let me try. Not over there, but I think I know where he's at, and I'm gonna grab him because I want to. I need to. I need. To, I need to do this. This is needed for me. Go grab.
I thought I put him. I guess I, I've lost him. I need to find him. Uh, but for those that wanted to see a Transformer, uh, I found one of those. So this one's probably one of my favorite ones. Uh, but yeah, no, because uh, I was hoping he was be in this bucket. Because this has all the Spot Force and the Trap Team variants. Yeah, so. But, yeah. It looks like I couldn't find him, unfortunately. That's the bucket full of Spot Force variants. Uh, I'm sure he's hanging around here. I, wait a minute. I think I'm actually stupid. Hang on. I know. I know where he went. Never mind. I'm actually just dumb. Uh, it turns out <laughs> he's he's been in there. That that right there. He was right there. I forgot. There's a double dare down there too. But I feel so stupid. I was like, oh, where can I put this guy? But yeah. Um, uh, finally. I think we can finally uh, swap these bad boys back, and we'll call it <laughs> we'll call it a stream. Yeah, no, I think this one looks fine. This just looks weird. This just looks wrong. That's you know that's another wrong one. Here, hang on. Anything to do with this mother trucker? He looks like the hormone monster from Big Mouth. This guy, I hate him. Who is? Any swap you make with this guy is gonna look wrong. Like any swap, it's not possible to make him look good. Like this is the most disgusting looking thing I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Why? Why does he? I think if you do it with Trap Shadow, he is like super short and it's hilarious. I hate him. I hate him. I don't hate Fire Kraken. I just he's he's so ugly and his voice sounds like he smoked 40 packs of cigarettes a day and he looks like the hormone monster. All right, but yeah, and I just threw hoot loop all over the floor. So. But guys, I think this is a, as much as I love dragging it out, just showing plastic as much as I can, I think this is a, where I'm gonna have to call it quits. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. We're actually about to hit the four hour mark, so I don't think this is the longest of the long stream, but it's, it's close to it. It's definitely close. Uh, but yeah, I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me for two whole years. I think it was going to take two whole years, but you know, college, so that's how it works sometimes. Uh, no, 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 yeah, I did stream, I've streamed for 14 hours, that's my longest I've ever streamed. Uh, but I meant for like the ultimate lock streams, they typically are a little bit shorter. But, um, I'm just happy we made it to the end and we didn't have to start over. I mean, from my content point of perspective, if I lost it, it would be better for me. But I'm actually happy I didn't lose because I don't want to start off. I want it to be done so I can do more creative things. So uh, now that this burden has kind of been taken off of me, I, I feel like I can make a little more stuff that, you know, I don't have to worry about the ultimate lock existing and stuff like that. Uh, uh, when it comes to what's after this, I'm not entirely sure. We'll come up with something, but... I have a bunch of video ideas I need to get started on. Streaming wise, we'll, we'll see where it goes. But, yeah. If you want to keep up to date with me, you can just join my hellhole that is my Discord server. But, other than that, I'm going to go enjoy the summer fun outside. So, appreciate you guys for hanging out with me. I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>